supposed to be doing an interview with um uh Nappy No Name, Brad Nappy. Uh Nick just cut his hair, it's funny. Uh, so yeah, I guess he's gonna come on here and we're gonna do something on here. Either way, man. Either way. Bro, I've been triggered all fucking day. I'm I'm considerably better now, but I've been triggered all fucking day. And I question whether or not, okay, uh, uh, if somebody wonder, hey, what were you triggered by? Maybe the fact that I was triggered was enough. No, what was I triggered by? Well, I was triggered by is the typical shit out here, bro. The typical shit niggas say, the typical narrative of spirituality, especially when niggas try and put darkness on it. That shit pisses me off. Okay, it's to be expected. And I expect it to some degree, but God damn it, it pisses me off. Sneaky shot ball, man. Oh, maybe I can send a thing. Invite to join. I can do that. See. Okay. I was going on call. I don't be waving the niggas enough, man. My bad, yo. I don't be waving the niggas enough. But yeah, I'm supposed to do this. Uh, I'm supposed to do this interview with uh, this boy Nappy. I just sent him a request thing i've been triggered all day i don't even know i don't even know if i'm gonna interview properly because i got i, I want to talk shit i want to talk shit fuck man what is that thing at bro i was just talking to you on instagram i know you're on instagram bro it's long. i sent i even sent the invite <laughs> hey man man look nigga welcome to come let me get stream gold away too nigga welcome to come in bro <clears throat> but yeah, I've been triggered. I've been triggered about the typical shit, bro. The typical shit niggas say. The typical shit that passes for doing the work. That's what the fuck. That, that's what the fuck I've been on all day. Just because. Just look. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I, I listened to another interview he did, and and it's not that the people were wrong or they're bad or I don't like the people. It's the ideas, the concept, the systems of thought. Like they just get ignored so people can feel good. Like, bro, I was talking to this one kid just a second ago. Nigga did, nigga did a live, right? Kid did a live. He had just done a shroom trip or whatever. He was feeling himself. You know, you gotta just get it off the shrooms or some kind of psychedelic, and you're feeling yourself a little. Kid was feeling himself, right? Um, and so he's like, I'm different. I'm changing. And uh, so he starts saying some of the, some of the typical shit niggas say outside his neck. Uh, I'm, I, matter of fact, I was the only nigga in his live. I think that shit was funny. Um, <clears throat> anyway, you know, like um. Uh, th there's ultimately nothing for us to be doing here, and I'm like, okay, nigga, that's a big statement. You, you got you got to know a lot to be able to say there's nothing that we're supposed to be doing. So you're lying. You're lying. That's not true. Or then he got into saying some shit like, um, nothing has any meaning. Nothing matters. They go, they go, nap you right there. Wait to the nigga, man. I sent you the invite thing, bro. I don't know if you have to hit it or tap it or how that go. But look, and so yeah, he said saying some shit like, um. Uh, that n n nothing matters. There's no meaning to anything. There's no, uh, um, yeah, yeah, nothing matters. And I'm like, no, that's lies. That's, that's not true. Um, it's, it's impossible for nothing to matter. Something's matters. You're doing a live. You're talking right now. Oh, shit. Let me accept the thing. So, yeah, I, I, I tell him, like, look, bro, you, like, you're not right. And he was like, first, 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 the nigga was like, okay, maybe you're right. And I was like, no, it's not maybe I'm right. It's you're wrong. He's like, okay, maybe I'm wrong. And I'm like, no, it's not. See, you weren't saying maybe all the other shit you was talking. And so the nigga's like, was like, no, bro, you're wrong. He just couldn't, he couldn't digest. He didn't have the capacity to digest the idea that the things he was saying could be wrong. Like that's, that's the, that's the bullshit. That's what just had me triggered all day. What's going on, man? I, I was just finishing the story up. Bro. Shit, do your thing. Hey, do your thing. I don't know who the fuck hey, you man, what, 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 what do I call you, bro? What, what do I call you, man? Uh, I go by many names. Like most times, it's just nappy. Nappy? Okay, I wasn't sure because uh, you know some niggas feel some kind of way because you know how white folks say nappy and they like like uh, nappy is happy to me, bro. But I ain't got nah, no I hair, so like I can't relate <laughs> to most of them. That's it. Don't bother my black ass. Plus, I didn't cut my hair off, so it's like shit. I seen it. I seen that yesterday. Not about to offend me, <laughs> but what's going on, my man? Sorry about all the fucking. Bullshit. That shit's crazy. Like, there's a lot of bullshit around my page right now. But we still here. Hey, man. It's a way of life. 
That's what I be saying, man. N- look, niggas will spit chaos till shit start fucking up. Then they're like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas come back in the house like what? Right. People are targeting me like, nah, niggas chaos. This is what you want. <laughs> mm-hmm. But to even start what you was already talking about, so like niggas not knowing how to be wrong. What the yes. Fuck going on with that shit? Yes, bruh. Okay, look, cause look, I've been tricking all day, man. I'm, I'm considerably better than I was. Um, but I mean, did this shit, this shit, in its essence, trigger? me and I, I don't want to just get on here and and be awful because I can and I may actually devolve into that over the course of time I'm not gonna lie um, but I'm making an effort not to be because <laughs> I am a dick you know so I'm not I'm not even gonna lie the fact that you know is why I respect it because if you know and you don't let me know I'm like oh okay man. I ain't gotta be filtered with this man there we go all right so look this this is the thing this is the thing man the thing that gets me is that nobody debates and it, i debate i'm gonna tell you all day i debate because like this, this is some shit i give a fuck about like, there's no there's nothing anyone calls a science in which the people who participate in it don't debate their ideas the the the, the phone we're using right now the, the, the technology around that does not come about because nobody you know uh nobody had conflict ideas you know it's it's this thing where people get in a room and when it comes to spirituality they all just they just circle jerk they just agree with each other like everybody's like that's that's the format somebody walks in they say the wild they can say the wildest shit in the world everybody be like facts checking in uh, tapping in check facts you know like what the like you're not allowed to say wrong because as soon as you tell somebody they're wrong the first place they go is well everybody's right facts and it and niggas don't even actually believe that. Dude, this, is why, this, is why, this is why I always say when niggas say that shit. Because they don't. They just they use it as a scapegoat to not have to explain themselves. Because if you really believe that everybody was right, you leave Christians alone. You probably, you, hell, you wouldn't even have to leave left Christianity. Because you were still right. Right. You don't have to teach nothing. Because what everybody, whatever everybody already knows is right. So why teach anybody anything? Niggas don't actually believe that shit. They say it because they don't want to have to, to, to back up what they do. What they what they what they claim they do, right. you know they, they don't want to have to consider. Well, maybe I still don't get it. You know it's that it's that religion trauma. They running so fast from Jesus, they miss they miss the whole show, and they don't know they missed the whole show because nobody comes in the room and says, you know what, I disagree with that. That don't make no damn sense. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> it's like, hey nigga, go back to the drawing board on that shit. For real, wow, that's a big For ass. Real. And like. Something that I've even been noticing, especially in like more of the beginning stages of the spiritual journey and shit, that circle jerk type shit creates the craziest mob mentality. And I'm not saying I've been on this <laughs> shit for a long ass time and no shit, but I have watched niggas dedicate themselves to an ID, delete their whole fucking page and start over. It's, oh, I'm this now. <laughs> or they'll be a part of a fucking group and that group at some point in time was doing this thing. Like from the distance, all these niggas posting each other and all this shit, it breaks the fuck down. And now all these niggas done with their separate ways. So that's a good yeah. ass point. Cause I've seen that shit on multiple fucking occasions and it's not gonna stop mm-hmm. because them same mm-hmm. niggas are the ones that circle jerk each other. Like they're not trying to better each other if that makes sense. Cause at yeah. the end of the day, they keeping all they real shit to themselves they're not trying to expand with any of these niggas they call in their tribe or some shit. And then whenever the fuck someone in the tribe is like, oh, this is what I've been thinking about. Everybody will just chime in on that shit and they'll stay right there. Instead of mm-hmm. like, hey nigga, the other day I got a sign about X, Y, Z and then X, Y, Z played out in my life. Like nigga, can we go deeper on this shit? Like actually helping each other develop on their journey mm-hmm. versus just, you know, the mental it's an echo chamber. Shit. Yeah, it's a little echo chamber you know people who just re- they repeat the same things they've heard because look this is what happens this is part of what i talk about with, with my clients and stuff is uh okay people have people will look at cultures and religions and they'll reject them they'll say you know this is a lie this wasn't real this wasn't true christianity for example jesus was a lie you know christianity wasn't real and they're like i'm not dealing with that no more but i'm not gonna tell you that's not the right thing to do but what they don't understand is what what those things provided for you because if, if they provided for you something and then you abandon them when you go out here you're going to be looking for it. and if you don't know you're looking for something that you're looking for it gets confusing okay religion like 
like, like I, 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 I made a video about it the day before yesterday. It might have been the day before that. Um, we've untethered ourselves from the heavens. Uh, the uh, one of the European philosophers, thinking think it was German, uh, Nietzsche, Friedrich, Friedrich Nietzsche says, uh, God is dead. What he means by that is, is, uh, is our metaphysical presuppositions that tether us to the cosmos have, have been, have been, have been, uh, 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 cut. We basically like, that's why I say human is a lie, bro. It's not homo sapien is a lie. Human is a lie. Uh, it's, it's the way we frame our reality. The premises of our thinking no longer contains a continuity with the divine. Mm -hmm. And so people are out here trying to dress up humanity and the best they do is this spooky superhuman like oh i'm gonna upgrade my dna get the fuck out of here that's dumb oh i'm gonna wait for the anunnaki to come that's dumb oh oh uh, five fifth dimension is gonna come niggas don't know what dimensions are dimensions are not places look a line has has uh has has a uh, two dim uh, one dimension a right. square has two dimensions a cube has three dimensions those aren't places you're talking about perception your your scope and extent of your perception those aren't places mm -hmm. now if you change your scope and extent uh the, the scope and extent of your perception on your reality it's going to change how you perceive it you may be able to see more dimensions of the reality you're living but it doesn't mean you're going somewhere right see motherfuckers don't get into the shit they're talking like they like people just repeat the same thing they've heard like um it, it's this is the biggest issue and i and i say this consistently bro what is you like that mm. that's the that's the that's the that's the bread and butter of all this shit and see when people don't debate you you never ch challenge the integrity of the things you believe and so mm. it, it it falls deeper and deeper into blind faith and you out here just doing superstitious stuff like sometimes you can be wrong like like this idea that everybody is right is, is ridiculous because th there is no right without wrong the two define one another it's like mm. up or like how are you gonna have an up without down like what in what sense is it up if there's no down right like like motherfuckers they they've missed they, they, they're getting caught in the language like uh, like i said it's 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 the way we frame reality it's the ontology of the western mindset like motherfuckers talk metaphysics bro and this shit pisses me off because they don't know what they're saying they don't know what they're talking about motherfuckers will just say the word metaphysics you, if you're talking metaphysics you need to be talking ontology and epistemology ontology because metaphysics is is a branch of philosophy Dude, it's not some shit where you say, okay, um, melanin activates the water in your kundalini at the 33rd sacral chakra of, of the highest spine, and that, that activates you. Like, no, shut the fuck up. That's so dumb. Like, none of that makes sense. That's not metaphysics, and it's not spirituality. Like, I get, right. I get it's alluring and it's intriguing when you've come from a place where you don't, you're like, you, every, it seems like everything you knew was a lie, and you're trying to find something to hold on to. It sounds, it sounds really good, but that shit, that shit is not metaphysics. It's not spirituality. Look, ontology. Ontology is, is is discussing what is. What are the fundamentals of whatever system of thought you're using? Epistemology is how do you know? Uh, or, or rather, what are the dynamics of these things that you say exist? People, they, they, they mm -hmm. what they're going out here doing after they've left religion is they're trying to pick and, and, and match all these pieces from fractured and broken systems of thought for people who don't even live no more. Right. Like, 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 me. Like five thousand years ago, okay. If I'm a nigga in Egypt and I know Horus, I don't just know Horus as a character. I know him as a as, as a metaphysical concept of my reality. Mm -hmm. Niggas aren't act niggas aren't interacting with these deities like that because they never they never question the the, the idea of self. They just say, "Well, oh, it's all about me. Oh, it's, it's all about me. I'm, I know more about me." What do you mean when you say me? What right. does that mean? Like that's the that's the crux of all of this shit because it's not something out there t distracting you and making you not get what, what, what how to do this shit right like, like okay let's let's take it to square one bro let's take it to square one because where where I agree with niggas okay because I'm not trying to I'm not just trying to shit on niggas completely like bro okay nah, everything is one thing we we everything is connected it's all one thing right uh, what you are essentially is the most high. You are that one thing. Everything is that one thing. There's nothing that's not that one thing. There's, there's, there's details in that. There's nothing that's not what, that one thing. So the only thing that's not everything is nothing. If you are that one thing, it, it because people don't understand the oneness they, they they anthropomorphize it they give it characteristics like it's human okay uh, they say um uh, uh, the most high wanted to know itself. Yes, 
it's, it's ridiculous. Look, if it's one thing, there's no place that one thing is because that would be something other than the one thing. There's no thing the one thing feels because that feeling and even the idea of feeling is something other than the one thing. So it doesn't do any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, so you can't identify yourself with that because it doesn't do anything. It isn't, it, 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 bro, it may as well be zero, bro. Like that's why, this is why Christ, <laughs> This is why Christ is the savior. I'm telling you, this is why Christ is the savior. He saves the father from himself because the father may as well be nothing. He's so, he's so infinitely perfect that he may as well be nothing. Christ saves the father. Look, it's, he's, he's, the, he's, the, he's the three, he's the triangle, he's the triangle. He's, the triangle is the first geometric shape that encloses empty space. See, if you're talking, if you're talking geome geometry, motherfuckers are so caught up in points, lines, and shapes. It's not the points, lines, and shapes. It's the empty space that's changing, bruh. Mm. That's what's always there. It's the empty space that's changing. What you're seeing is the effect of the empty space changing. But the triangle is the first time you can enclose that empty space. So what was what was essentially infinite now appears finite. But mm. even in its appearance of finite, it's infinitely divisible within. Bruh, it's, it's like, like, motherfuckers are trying to make this shit some shit where it's, it has something to do with, with, with the physical world narrative and that's why niggas are missing all of this shit they they they, they like the devil's in the details bro this shit is not about like your, your chakras are not something in your body this is what motherfuckers are missing what they're looking at it's a map of reality it's the same thing as a tree of life but from a different group of people and so what the root chakra is is all of the physical world if what you are is the whole damn thing then your root chakra is the physical world but niggas ain't thinking like that they sitting here playing they playing spooky human and that shit's <laughs> ridiculous they playing spooky human and see so, bro this, this is <laughs> this is the shit that kills me the most, bro. This is the shit that kills me the most. Is the idea of fake it till you make it. Because this is the problem with it. Mm. Without the archetype, without the archetype, without the archetype of what it means to make it, all you can ever do is fake it. And so motherfuckers will fake it so long they just assume they made it because they know either, either you either either you never make it or you just you just kind of, you try and mimic your teacher. You try and mimic who, who you heard that from because you think of them as the image of making it and you don't know what it means to make it. And so now what making it is, is just faking it. You just say whatever you want, tell niggas everybody's right, and now you get it. Like this nigga, you see, did you see this nigga Omnistrone? He posted some shit. The niggas do not interpret the Bobby nah. Hammond and Panic shit, bro. He, 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 he posted some shit about um, the divine hope, okay? Mm -hmm. And he took the mystical shit and made it mundane. Talking about uh, uh, if a bitch is a hoe uh, and then she come conscious, you better run to her. But stop, but stop. You missed what the whole like that. that it's it's a false parallel. It's a false parallel because look, you got divine archetypes for everything. Just because you got a divine archetype for the divine hoe, don't mean niggas need to go marry a hoe. That's it's just shit. Right. It is dumb. It's it's bad reasoning. Ah. I, excuse me, fact. bro. I evolved into being triggered again. Excuse me. This is an interview. Oh, I'm no, being a dick. I apologize. I also go on tangents and shit, so I understand. That's another reason I ain't even chiming in. Plus, there's a lot of fucking keys in that. But with that shit being said, when niggas fall into the trap of thinking knowledge is wisdom, what's something they can do to start pulling themselves out? Or is it reflecting back to self, but not in an egotistical way of like, I'm everything, so I've got to figure it out type shit. Right. Oh god, that shit kills me. No, nah, it's it, it, it's it, and that's why I that's why I, I package that 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 little that little phrase. What is you? Because it can be a question or a statement, but that's always that's always the fundamental thing. You know, they say no know, knowledge of self, know thyself. But you know, people don't question what is you. Mm. They get caught up in the body and the personality. Mm. So you, it, it, it's more so about scrutinizing where you're at. It's not a new thing you got to go do. It's not some new thing you got to go see. It's Nigga, where are you right now? Like, uh, I saw in your story, you posted the Cheshire Cat. I love the Cheshire Cat. He was talking to Alice. Alice walked up to the nigga. She's like, um, uh, I don't know which way to go. And he's like, okay, well, where are you trying to get to? I don't know. Well, then it doesn't really matter which way you go. You know, if niggas don't, don't know what, like, if you can do anything, it becomes daunting because then you're like, well, what do I do now, right? right. Then it kind of leads into the question. It's like, oh, okay, I now realize I can do anything. So what do I do now? Well, this is what I would suggest. Lean into the fact that you could have always done anything. Because 
is that same motherfucker who could have always done anything and now can now realizes he can is gonna have the same patterns. You still the same nigga right now. You just realize you just noticed something you never noticed before. Right. And so you need to go back and reassess what is you. What do you mean? Because you can't mean the thing that's only one thing because it's only one thing. There's something else behind that. It's not the body and it's not the personality because the personality, look, I'll give you this. The personality is not something that's physical, okay? It's non-physical, but it's based in the idea that what you are is physical, okay? And so that's what that's where it fucks up. You have to have something to be to beyond your personality. And, and, and like, well, this is part of what I work with my clients with, because a lot of times they think you have to create something. And I'm like, no, bro. It's you, like there's so much in in what this you is mm -hmm. that, like you don't even need all this other shit don't even matter. So like it's ridiculous. Like like here's the analogy, bro. Um, uh, you play video games? Uh, I used to. What game you play? Uh, I was more into the adventure type shit. So I got into Uncharted. I played around with Link for a little bit with my homie. I was heavy into The Witcher. I fucking loved that game. Uh -huh. Going back to when I was a kid, PS1 type shit. So, you know, Grand Theft Auto was one of my favorite racing mm. games because my dad can and shit like that. But I will say my favorite fucking game, my nigga, Kingdom Hearts. Nothing touched that shit in my opinion. Ooh, ooh. No, that was a classic. It was iconic at the time, too. Well, here, I'm going to use Kingdom Hearts then. I'm going to use Kingdom Hearts. That was Sora, right? Yep. Okay, we'll say it like this, bro. We'll say it like this. Uh, follow me for a second. Uh, your life is nappy right now. That's Sora. That's mm -hmm. Sora in Kingdom Hearts, okay? When I'm talking about what is you, I'm talking about the nigga sitting down playing the game. Mm -hmm. See, that's what like when they say go within that's the direction you gotta go it's not go within your mel your melanin it's not go within your 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 uh your tailbone and activate your anus kind of shit it's not no spooky kundalini oil bruh it's it's the, the, like niggas are looking in the wrong direction i'm saying the nigga who's playing the game right that's where you 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 gotta got go in that direction and that's not like that's not a physical direction see motherfuckers are so caught up in the fucking space time all right look check this out okay it works like a hand um you got the four fingers right now you can do a whole lot of shit with just your four fingers like you can even try like just your four fingers you can do a whole lot of shit you can do exponentially more shit once the thumb is involved okay the way the, the way your uh the way your physical body expresses especially in the kingdom of man um arm arm leg leg arm head right mm. your arm just like your fingers got your fingers got the three segments three segments three segments three segments and then two segments okay uh well it's technically three because the whole hand is part of this but we'll just go with two for now anyways mm. um your arm three segments hand forearm upper arm your leg foot shin thigh right so just like the fingers, your arms and your legs is just like the fingers. Your head is just like the thumb. You got the neck and the head, two segments, right? Mm. Now, regardless of what the fucking fingers are doing, you know, because you can do all kind of shit with them. But regardless of what they're doing, if the wrist says to move, everybody got to go. No matter what you're doing, if the wrist says move, everybody got to go. Now, if your limbs are, are the fingers and your head is the thumb, where is the wrist? Hmm. What, the torso? No, because that would be the hand. That would be the, the palm. Mm. Because that's what all the limbs come out of. You see how the fingers come out of the, the palm? Mm. That's the torso because all the limbs come out of it. Where is uh, the wrist? So is the wrist not a player? It's not even... It's not on the same plane of existence as the hand. Bruh, and look, even the wrist yeah, is, is more complicated than that. You can sit there with the controller. That's what the wrist is. That's, what, that's yeah, okay. the wrist. That's the wrist. And see, the wrist is more complicated than motherfuckers think. People, motherfuckers think this is all the wrist is. All of this shit, like if you move your fingers, you can feel it. The wrist is pulling from the elbow. Mm -hmm. Bruh. Like, but this is what I say. Motherfuckers don't live the physical life in a lucid sense. They're so caught up in the narrative of their humanity and trying to fit something into that that they miss it. Like, mm -hmm. like, like. Here's, here's a, here's a number one tell. You can tell when what, something, something the motherfucker saying is not spiritual. If they're talking about particulate matter, if they're telling you about uh, melanin cells, uh, quarks, the quantum world, all that quantum shit, 
that's not spiritual, bro. That's that's, that's that's an extension of the physical world. It's like a wire. If the physical world is physical world is the copper in the, on the inside, all, all the little uh, individual strands intertwined to make one long rope. Um, mm. the, the quantum world is like the insulation on the wire, bro. It's still the physical world. It's not like niggas is niggas is hype about the astral shit, like bro. Like <laughs> nobody's because nobody debates or nobody nobody draws any lines anywhere. We can't we can't move the for the conversation forward because nothing really means anything you know do you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. like nothing can mean anything because nobody will agree that that this can be wrong and because nothing can be wrong nothing can be right and so the conversation will go nowhere that's my feel that. fucking beef because i love I, that like i'm a metaphysician like this is what i do like I love this show. Like imagine some shit you don't earn your stripes in, bro. Like sh some right. shit you love doing, and motherfuckers come along, bought some stripes at the goodwill, put it on the shirt, talking about he you. What stop? Right. What stop? These niggas are coming out the side of their neck talking shit, and and, <laughs> and it's not that they're bad people. It's not like when I'm saying it, it's not because you know they're bad people. I dislike them. No, you know, it's not, it's, that's bullshit. It's the concepts. It's the premises of thinking. It's the ideas. The ideas look like longer that. than the flesh. Like yeah. motherfuckers talking about the brain, but bro, it's a piece of meat. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's, it's the new group. Some niggas don't know how to move solo, so there will forever be that fucking mentality. But yeah. I'm always telling people, pay attention to the divinity within people, not like what's being presented. Because I've received messages through all types of fucking things. So, oh yeah, if you look for divinity. Oh, yeah. Then you can pull immediately from that other space and shit. Like it's and it's something that can't be fake either. That I'll add to that with the authenticity <laughs> that you brought up. Like that shit can't be fake. So I feel you on that. You just reach that stage where it's like, bro, I'm comfortable within what I do. So I'm just gonna talk my shit to talk my shit. Like just cause you niggas can't talk the shit. So it's they won't talk the shit, bro. It's like I cause bro. I am I'm the ego. Like that's that's the deity I am at the moment, bro. I'm the god of losing. I'm here to lose. I'm here to lose. I'm here to be defeated, but nobody fights. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. It's not even that I'm I, it's not even that I'm the best in the, the that ever could be. I'm just yeah. the shit because nobody's fighting. And that's the problem. How everybody how everybody powerful but nobody fight. What you mean you powerful, boy? What the fuck, man? Get the, this shit so dumb. And, I, and the reason it makes me so mad Yo. is because I've been that, man. I've I, been that. Like, I'm not saying this shit from some high road type of place. Like, nigga, I love the low road. That's my that's my place. And you know, when, when you know, your mama tells you not to wrestle with a pig and shit because they like it, I'm the pig, nigga. I'm telling you, I love the low road. This is my shit. But it, it, I've been that, bro. I've been that person who wasn't thinking about it. Mm -hmm. And when it hit me, I had to drop everything, bro. I had to drop everything and I went crazy. I went, I fucking literally went crazy for at least a week. That was just the first time it happened. Like niggas talk darkness, bro, and they don't get it. They just put a spooky aesthetic on the light and it's not what darkness is. Most of the time niggas is talking shadow. Shadow is casting light. They're not talking about darkness. They're not right. talking about darkness. No, darkness is the predecessor. That's bro, that is a bro, fact. And it Have pisses me off. Well, like you just start attacking certain niggas, like, cause yeah. that's been, huh? yeah, okay, yeah. okay, <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> like, Boy, like, I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> they had to chill me out on that shit, cause they was like, yo, you gonna get yourself wrapped up in so many people's timelines, like you are going to be attached to so many people if you keep doing this shit. But it did come a point where I was like, you know what, I'm gonna become a show me type of nigga. And not even mm -hmm. from like a conversation standpoint. Like I'm really about to attack you, and I accept everything that happens and comes yes. on this path, yes. all because you're on that kind of time. So it's like fuck around and find out. I definitely out. feel that, but I'm chilled out now. But I know mm -hmm. that fucking energy, bro. that shit is right. crazy. Yo, look, look, when I well, like what when I when, when I, I want to say when I first hit the scene, but I already been talking for a while. Um, there was this nigga named Rogue, Rogue Titan. Uh, he don't talk no more. Uh, he was coming up on the shit a little bit, and he, I, I, I could see he was he, he was doing something at first, but then he got he got a little hype on himself because you know he started talking with Ravana Noon. <coughs> you know, thought he was you know real whatever though. But mm. I got the I got into it with this nigga. 
This nigga tried to throw his little death current at me. That shit was like, I'm like, nigga, what was that? Like, that's nothing. Like, what are you doing? But like, fuck that shit. And, like, he, what he used to do was meme. He like, he try to like make like spiritual memes. Like, put his face in the meme mm -hmm. and then make it try to say that was spiritual. I'm like, nigga, you don't know how to meme, bro. I hit this nigga with over a hundred memes slaying this nigga. Just him, nothing spiritual. Just talking shit about him. Like, bro, don't talk no more. And see that, that like, I'm a dick. I'm an awful person. I don't have to do that. I don't have to do that. But I do. <laughs> I do. Like, I'm the nigga who's going to be in your comments. Like, because cause motherfuckers will say anything. Like, for real. This shit, it, 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 it. It bothers me to no end. And this is look. This is another. This is another thing that I that I focus a lot of my attention around is the the feminization of spirituality, bro. The the the, oh, the, yeah. the over emphasis speak, on the feminine. Speak on this big mama shit. This heavy Bruh. big mama shit. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Bro, I'm gonna tell you, man. And look, cause look, I start off with this, cause I love telling niggas this, cause they always they always you know, get their panties in a bunch. Like great, the great mother is a deadbeat mom. Point blank period. The great mother's a deadbeat mom. First and foremost, just so niggas don't get it twisted, you talk in darkness. The great mother is a, is a deadbeat mom. Second of all, the great mother's only feminine in name. It's the triple blackness of space. It's triune. There's the father, the mother, and the child. See, motherfuckers don't know what they're talking about, but they'll say that shit out the side of their neck. It's it, and that's what gives rise to the trinity, the triune nature underlying the infinite potential of zero. Mm -hmm. The shit that's already there. This is so like uh like uh, like one thing I'll be well no nah, that's that's gonna take me that's gonna take me to a whole other place the feminization <laughs> is, 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 bro I will go you have no bro, I'll be telling you but um <laughs> yeah it's, it's, the, the, they put such a heavy emphasis on the feminine and a lot of it is coming from this Christianity trauma dude they're running so hard from Christianity anything masculine anything that looked like the white man you know it's it's I don't know what's going on this is, and it's like, bro, you miss the masculine. Cause this is this is the this is the shit that, that really pisses me off is that motherfuckers will conflate the child with the masculine. Mm. You know, it's like, oh, okay, oh, everything, everybody comes through a, through a yoni. Okay, cool, motherfucker, but that motherfucker don't do shit but bleed till that lingam come around. I'm the motherfucker that start the shit. Don't play me. And see, look, that's only that's only on a, on a. Uh, uh, masculine and feminine are different from male and female uh, uh, and i think that's the biggest thing that people miss is is they conflate the, the feminine with female like that nigga i'm the strong will do that shit too boy he, you know you put a he put a pretty bitch up and go debbie energy but you know that the, the ugly nasty hoe is debbie energy too bruh like you know, don't, don't play me just because she got a nice ass and a pretty smile that's debbie energy like right. no like you, you got to get the whole thing masculine and feminine define one another male and female contain one another mm -hmm. it's different and you can't conflate the two like so, so it's not because you have a divine whole archetype that all males need a divine whole archetype like that's dumb that's that's, that's bad reasoning and like but, but people aren't they're not they're not exercising their reasoning muscles because nobody debates nobody fight and everybody's muscles are atrophied. All they know how to do is motivate and 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 give tips on wish fulfillment. Here's how you do this to fulfill your wishes. Here you manifest this, manifest that. Oh, how do I manifest this? It's just motivation and wish fulfillment, and nobody's getting to the talk no more. Right. That's the problem. That's what that's what pisses me off. And people continue to say the same shit, and they don't realize you're not going anywhere you just feel good about your human life because now there's a spooky aesthetic to it right like demon bro i can't even i can't even start smoking because i'm so pissed i'm so triggered i, I apologize but like yeah. demons like check this out bro. check this out check this out and it, it, it when it hit me it hit me it was funny but it, i still say this shit like demons bro okay you leaving Christianity, right? Like, fuck this shit. I'm not doing Christianity. This shit's a lot. This is ridiculous. I'm leaving. I'm getting out of here. And then you end up in demons, right? That's like telling your mama, you in the house. And you're like, mama, fuck this shit. I'm out this house. I ain't never coming back. I'm gone. And then all you do is go to the front yard. But stop. Demons are part of the Christian pantheon. You got to be out your mind. But see, that's what I'm saying. I, I've been that nigga. I've been out my mind like that. So I get why a motherfucker would do it. But mm -hmm. it's, it's like... 
it's it's ridiculous it's part of the christian pantheon now if you're talking about daemons daemons are a completely different thing and there's no there's no spooky aesthetic to that there's no there's no um there's no adversarial relationship with angels if you're talking daemons that's a whole different pantheon mm -hmm. see man bro, motherfuckers will mix and match pantheons like 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 it like I don't even know what the fuck you can even do shit like that. Like it, it's like this. Boy, it's like I okay, I need a new. Bro, I am one of them niggas with that mix match shit. Boy, I play hopscotch with this shit. Bro, uh, oh my god! Look, this is why you can't do it. This is why you can't do it. Okay, let's say I need a new liver. I need a new liver. I got a liver. And I need a new one. That cat has a liver. Well, it's a liver. It's really just the same thing. It's a liver. It's, it's ultimately the same thing. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. I get why you would say that, and it makes sense. But it's a completely different system. Right. And so it may play the same role in that system, but it, it, you can't switch it out. And so you ha it, it, it's a matter of understanding the system and how the system works with that. Because, you know, we both have a liver, but that liver functions a little differently. And if you see how that liver functions, it, it, it tunes you into that system. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like, like, because when you switch in and miss it, when, when you're switching up deities from different pantheons, you miss the system. Like I'm saying, it's like it's like points, lines, and shapes, but you miss the empty space. Like it's 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 the reason for pantheons. A pantheon is a map of the self. Okay, not not the self is in body and personality or or or, or, or whole oneness and everything. Like no, like the the self is infinitely many things, although it appears to be one thing. Uh, like illusion. Uh, just 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 off the cuff, what do you think illusion means? If I said the illusion. physical world is an illusion, what do you think that means? Uh, that would be the video game character and not the player. True. 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 Generally, uh, what people will say is that to say it's an illusion it means it's not real. And that's not the case. Right. That's not the case at all. That's not even what illusion means. Illusion means something is not what it appears to be. Mm. Okay. The physical body is illusionary. It appears to be one thing. It's infinitely many things. You can divide it up so many different ways. It's infinitely divisible. It's yeah. infinitely many things. All right. That's part of what the self is. The self is not simply one thing. Essentially, everything is one thing. So saying it's one thing essentially isn't saying anything. A roach is one thing. A dust particle is one thing. That shit you took yesterday is one thing. Saying something is is it's all one thing. Okay. That's not something new. It, it, that, that's essential that's the essential nature of everything that's not an argument you mm -hmm. know and and there's details to this shit it it it, it goes beyond just feeling good is my biggest point mm -hmm. you right. know and and the, the masculine <laughs> shit gotta come back around bro because motherfuckers don't understand the role of the masculine they think everything is the feminine mm -hmm. and then they just they shun the masculine but the masculine is the is the center of all it is like it 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 right. You can't like they complement each other. You can't cut one out. Facts. That is big ass facts. My bad. That boy said. Oh. Bad. I'll be going all over the fucking place. <laughs> being nah, that's it. <laughs> I pulled that shit immediately. I was immediately like, yo, that boy said a lot. Where the fuck do I even start? But I will Hello, say, man. since you went into the masculine, that is some shit that I just brought up not long ago. I was like, mm -hmm. yo, 2023, rather you believe in dates or whatever the fuck, heavy big pop of energy coming back in because shit is yeah. hella out of fucking balance, my nigga. Yeah. And that's another energy Daddy's I've been home. walking in. And I ain't gonna lie, I've been in some heavy fucking kind of shit. Like the whole moving and even though the systems are what they are, me just stitching together my path the way I've been doing it in this fucking energy, nigga, I've been getting shit done. Like, I don't give a fuck about the matrix, but you better know how to manipulate it because you're here. You're in it. Like, <laughs> No mm -hmm. one's flown away yet, so know how to fucking pimp it for your own benefit. Yeah. Shit, but it's not a bad it. thing. Like it's supposed to be here. It's part of the whole. It 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 it, it has a function. You know, motherfuckers. Motherfuckers' problem with it is their relationship to it. How they frame their relationship to it. Like I say, you've untethered yourself from the heavens. You you the the way we frame, especially the idea of what a human is. Because before man, man and God was was presumption. It was presumed. It was presumed man and God are the same thing. These deities are not something that comes down to the physical world. That shit started with Serapis and the fucking Council of Nicaea, bro. Like, <clears throat> that's not a, it's not, like, human is some new shit.
Mm-hmm. Human is some new shit, bro. Niggas don't realize it. Like they try to make race some ancient shit. Race is not ancient. Race is not like motherfuckers will say race is Kemet. Race is not Kemet. Kemet had a black land. Yes, of course. It was the fertile Nile Valley, but it had a black and a red land. The red land is the land of the wilderness, the foreigners, the storms, the chaos. It was a land of set. There was a black and a red land. They weren't. It wasn't called the black land because of the people's skin color. Race comes from. It, it, it's it's as American as apple pie, bruh. It, it comes from fucking um, uh, 1688 after Francis uh, after Bacon's rebellion. Like, bruh, this shit is not nine ether anything. That should mm-hmm. be killing me. Like nine ether. I, like it took me a while to realize niggas was talking about hair, and I'm like, you so <laughs> yeah, so yeah. hair is the thing. Like, bro, you killing me. Yes. <laughs> How is particulate matter the thing? Like, if, if like this is what I'm saying, bro. Like, if, if if the physical world comes from this physical, the non spirit, the non physical, the spiritual, how is this thing in the physical world the thing? Like, chill out. Like, niggas have missed it. They look it in the wrong direction, and it's 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 it's, it's an understandable mistake to make. Um, but but because yeah, niggas won't conceive that they could be wrong, they won't do it. Say it again. I said, no, it's just self empowerment shit. It's affirmations have spilled into the entire practice. So it's like, instead of all the different pieces of what you do getting you results to complete the all and shit, you just put affirmations in everything. So as you interact with shit, subconsciously you've trained yourself to not really care if you get anything out of doing what you're doing. You're just interacting with it and spilling dope mm-hmm. moves, making yourself yeah. feel better and shit so that was it just you know yeah yeah the, the, it's usually something to to make them feel better about their personality which is not what spirituality is and th- this is the reason people do that though is because that's what they did when they were christians they didn't they didn't read, read the bible True. they didn't study that shit they weren't there all the time so so when they get here into spirituality they do the same thing because they were bad christians they're bad spiritualists and occultists and they don't realize it because you could have told them they was a bad christian when they was christian motherfuckers are lazy bro they they like it's not just saying i'm a chaos being like motherfuckers love that shit it's not just saying like there's two parts to chaos being chaos and being this chaos and order chaos is order unrecognized order is chaos unrecognized they define each other mm. masculine and feminine define each other up and down define each other so you can't have one without the other i've seen some 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 little nigga on here talking about talking about a world with no pain and i'm like bro you just cut pleasure out you can't have pain without pleasure. What are you talking about? Right. This delusional utopia shit where the white man is going to fall and niggas are going to have some <laughs> superpower Wakanda. It's like, what are you niggas really doing? Like, are you serious? <laughs> like, oh my, oh my God. Niggas really be on this shit. Like, we go, we go upgrade. Like, upgrading your DNA is so terrible. Like, that idea is terrible. Mm. It's, it's, it's particulate matter again, bruh. It's particulate matter. Particulate matter cannot be the fundamentals of a spiritual framework. Right. But see, because nobody, because nobody criticizes themselves, nobody will think that. You know, people are trying to take Western science and spiritualize it. And Western science doesn't tell you what a thing is. It tells you how it behaves. They use it so they can predict. They they create predictive abstractions. Uh, the idea of a cell, an atom. These are predictive abstractions. They're not they're not telling you what a thing is. They said, okay, this this stuff is behaving this way. So we're gonna name this this and say that this is how these things behave. It's not you have to go to the philosophers to find out what something is. You know, all people are doing it is 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 talking about the different symmetries of space-time, and all of those are emergent properties. Like none of those things are fundamental to reality. So they can't be fundamental to your spiritual system. DNA is not fundamental to reality melanin is not fundamental to reality if they can be they can be amazing things in the physical world i will not deny you that they can be amazing things but they are not fundamentals of a spiritual framework because they're not fundamentals of reality but i think it it, it like i ju- i wish people could see that like these are basic things so we could actually move the conversation like we could make this shit a science we got niggas out here that are smart enough to make this shit a science, but because everybody falls back on that, nobody criticizes their own ideas. Mm-hmm. And not only that, they won't even let nobody else criticize them. Bro, when I tell you 
I dropped everything. Nigga, I dropped everything. All the rituals I was doing, all the altars I had, all the all, all, all the That's shit I thought I knew. Bro, all the shit I thought I knew. Fuck my books. Fuck all that shit, bro. I took a whiteboard and I was just like, okay, I don't know. I don't know fucking anything. Mm. Like, fuck what I think. Every time, like, uh, um, Descartes, he's a philosopher, another, another one of the European philosophers. That, they're the only people who survived with their text at this point, you know, white supremacy. Anyways, um, Descartes, he comes up with dualism. Uh, the idea he he was trying to he was trying to figure out the mind body problem, which they're still trying to figure out today because they don't know the pre they, they're it, the incorrect premises. But anyways, um, he he was the, uh, a skeptic, and so he skepticized all the way back to the idea of I think, therefore I am. He's the one who comes up with that, right? Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's the the issue is your metaphysical presuppositions. It's where your thought begins. Because somebody will say, uh, uh, okay, man, I, I astral traveled with Oshun. Okay, um, uh, my, my, my ancestors tap in and, and, and they do this. Okay, cool. I'm not going to tell you that's wrong, but what do you mean I when you say that? What do you mean me? Because that's the, that's the core of anything you say you're doing. Mm -hmm. Anything you say happens. You know, motherfuckers will say like, uh, like uh, what's the, the first hermetic principle? All is mine. All right. Mm -hmm. Some people will say all is energy all is love all is fucking chair i don't care what you say all is they miss the metaphysics of that the, the the underlying argument is that all things are one thing i don't care what you call the one thing because there's already enough metaphysical information in the idea that all things are one thing just like i was telling you about what the nature of the one is how it's just one thing mm -hmm. that's what that's what that means all things are one thing i don't care if you say everything is love it's still going to have that same function as just being one thing so what you call it doesn't matter. But then right. this is the second part of the principle. <clears throat> all, okay, all is mine. The universe is mental. Now, where the fuck did universe and mental come from? If all is mine, where the fuck is universe and mental coming from? All is mine. This is why I love illusion. This is why I tell people about illusion. Illusion is the second part of, uh, of, of this whole process. Because if the one thing that's all things can only be that, it can never be anything else. Mm -hmm. How does it do that? by appearing to do it. That's what an illusion is. It's appearing to be something you are not. Mm. See, illusion isn't something you need to get away from. You need to be able to wield it. It's an essential part of being. Right. It's not so I gotta escape all illusions. No, you need to know the nature of illusion because that's people's issue. They don't know, they don't know, the, they don't know the nature of their predicament or how they're continuing to agree to it. It's like Alice in Wonderland, right? Uh, not Alice in Wonderland, excuse me, uh, The Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz. Dorothy, she walking around Oz, right? She talking to the leprechaun, all them shits. She, she, she's going through this whole rigmarole, the yellow brick road and shit. Whole time, she never left Kansas. That, that's my argument to niggas. Niggas is talking about how you escape the physical world and never come back. Nigga, you never left Kansas. But what is you? See, do you think you're Dor Dorothy who fell from the sky? Or are you Dorothy who, who lives in Kansas? Because mm. whole time she on the yellow brick road, she playing Dorothy uh, who fell from the sky. Oh, look at me. I'm the chosen girl. Woo, 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 my little dog. Fuck that bitch. You never left Kansas. Mm. That's the issue. What is you? And you can't, you don't pull it all the way back to that one singular because everything mm. is that. That's not what you mean when you say I astral travel, right? You don't mean the one thing is everything because that don't astral travel you don't mean your body because that don't astral travel right so there's something that's, that's in between there that you gotta you gotta find the details to that's the go within that's right. the go within it's not within melanin and cells and kundalini oil like <laughs> no really? like all that stuff is physical world stuff again like right. it's it's what the fuck is you what the fuck is you that's the that's the issue man that's right. the fucking issue. So, put simply, do you think yeah. you is yeah. just yeah. being present twenty four seven? No, it's not even being present. Cause look, you're already gonna be present twenty four seven. Right. Like this isn't something you gotta, you gotta. You gotta oh, cause this is why this is part of what I tell my clients. It's not something you have to try and figure out how to do twenty four seven. Cause you're already doing it twenty four seven. Dorothy never left Kansas. That's what I'm saying. You gotta see Kansas in Oz. You gotta see. K Kansas in Oz. You gotta learn to die. You have to learn how to let go of this idea of yourself as the character in Kingdom Hearts. Because you were never that. When you sat down to play, let's say you had to wash some dishes, you stop washing dishes, you go to play Kingdom Hearts. 
And now as you play in Kingdom Hearts, you become Sora. You play this game so deep mm -hmm. that you become Sora. And then you can walk in front of the television and you should be like, oh no, I saw a spirit. You Because you're so deep in being Sora that you don't even get mm -hmm. it. But the, you were doing something before you sat down to play the game. That's what that's what you're supposed to be doing. That's what you got to get back to. That's Because what Christ does is Christ, even Horace does this. If you don't like Christianity and Jesus, Horace does this too. You, you, you complete your father's work. You complete complete your father's work that's, that's what jesus said i'm about my father's work horace re, he, he rebuilds the kingdom you have to complete what was begun you don't just go back so to, to one that? that's where everything began you don't go back to one everything began there it's already been done you like you don't go like when when fruit falls off the tree <clears throat> to reach the same height as the canopy it doesn't go back up the tree trunk it grows a whole, whole new damn tree you have to re you have to fulfill the process you have to carry out the process and what what your father's work is for you is whatever the fuck you was doing before you sat down to play the game but you can't really get a grasp of that until you get a grasp of what the fuck you is playing the game and it's not spooky oneness mm -hmm. big ass facts so moving forward in the mindset like that how do you fucking get back to your father's business it's you, you never left it's right there gee it, 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 it's about shedding shedding the agreements that we have to this world and this narrative it's mostly the narrative mm. the narrative is the big thing right here let me let me let me keep it to you this way um let's say a nigga come up to you and say he know you right he don't know nothing you ever done he don't know how, where you've been through none, none of that shit but he say he know you that nigga don't know you right. you know a nigga based on a narrative if i came up to you told you spider-man is the shit i don't tell you none of the shit he do none of the shit he can do none of that shit you don't know nothing about this nigga but if you know you know his narrative his theology the legend of spider-man mm -hmm. now he now he is a thing that's how you know yourself as human you there's a narrative around it you know the legend of nappy you know all the secret there's the secret apocrypha mm -hmm. of nappy all the tales nobody gonna know about him what, the, what? only the expert knows about this nigga right Wow, what? what you gotta do is uncover the narrative that's already there for the nigga that's playing the game mm -hmm. but you can only do that so much as you let go of the idea that what you are is nappy right you, it's not it's not it's not getting rid of the physical world because you have to finish the game you have to finish the game that's part of the reason you're playing it you have to finish the game you, it's like jumanji rules you start playing you can't stop you the die has been cashed you have to finish the game you have to complete your father's work so it's not rejecting the physical world it's it's changing your relationship to it by changing right. your conception of what yourself is that's what self deification is that's what so it's changing your relationship to reality mm -hmm. right. it, like that's all like it's motherfuckers talk conception. left hand path most of these motherfuckers talking left hand path are left ish they talking spooky spooky christianity and it's not the thing like self deification is the left hand path it's what is you itself it's right. it's completing the work it's not just sitting here looking up like oh look at this magnificent thing like no nigga that's me and really and really being that like not just saying that in some you know prideful human ways where like oh, look at me human haha uh -huh, i'm i'm god haha uh -huh, you're not like get the fuck out of here that's so dumb right and like like my will look at christians and be laughing at christians and i'm like no nigga i'm laughing at you because christians didn't come to do the work christians didn't come to, like it's like it's like motherfuckers who are in the audience at a at a, a football game right mm -hmm. and and a football player laughing at the audience because they ain't running fast this nigga didn't come to run this nigga didn't come to run of course you run faster than him of course you down on the field but just because you're down on the field don't mean you win. It's not just like, okay, you don't have to do nothing. We just got to be. Like, no, nigga, the devil's in the details. You got to you gotta let this place go. That's what it means right. to have your heart light as a feather. You, you ever heard of the, uh, the the 42 Laws of Mod, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the 42 Laws of Mod, the, 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 the negative confessions, those are not rules to live by, dude. Right. The 42 law, like by, by the time you're seven years old, you've done uh, you've done plenty of those things. OK, it's to help you let go of human, because if, if you start to identify with the you that has done none of those things, 
by that time you get to the end of the list, you're not the human anymore. Whatever you is at that point ain't this. Mm. So it's not rules to live by. It's it's agreements to it's it's, it's it's framework to help you go through some of the agreements to your narrative of humanity. Because once you start to tap into what it is you are as a nigga playing the game, and you can uncover that narrative, mm-hmm. you can get back to doing what you're supposed to be doing. Then you the nigga. Then, then you the nigga who's quote unquote ascended. Then you're in the world, but not of it. See, when you think you Sora in Kingdom Hearts, you're in the world and of it. Mm-hmm. When you know you're the nigga playing the game, you're in the world and of it. Or in the world, but not of it. Excuse me. So it's mm-hmm. about. About what is you? It's about your premises of thinking. It's about how you frame your own reality. Because it's not something out there that's doing it. But it can't be. It can't be. So it's what is you? How is how is your framing of this idea of yourself making this? Like here, here's here's one meditation I have, bro. Here's here it it, it kind of brings this point. Yeah. It kind of brings this point. Like um, I I was I was in a desert, moonlit desert, right, and um. I'm chasing around this nigga Magic Man from uh, Adventure Time. Uh, I don't know if you've ever watched Adventure Time, but this nigga, mm-hmm. he's, he's a dick, bro. He's like, he's just floating around, disappearing. Like, I'm giving him all my, I'm giving him all my cool spiritual moves, trying to catch this nigga, you know, the super mm-hmm. speed, you know, trying to teleport, you know, all, all the cool, all the cool shit niggas will do, right? Mm-hmm. And I can't catch this nigga for nothing, bro. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me? This nigga laughing his ass off. And I'm like, oh. I'm sitting here playing human. Like I, I brought my humanity with me, which is why I couldn't catch him. As soon as I, as soon as I took my humanity off and sat down on my throne, nigga just came up and leaned. He just came up and kneeled in front of me, started laughing. Cause I went in there playing human, so I fucked up the shit. And it's not, there's not gonna be some sign written in English that says, "Hey, dude, you're fucking up." You gotta read the symbolism, bro. You gotta right. read the. You gotta, you gotta know what it is. Like, cause a place is a thing too. Like motherfuckers will think deities are like just personalities. Like a place is a is a being in and of itself. Have you ever heard of uh, Tartarus from Greek mythology? Yeah. Tartarus was a place. It was a deity and it was a place. Like motherfuckers don't get how none of this works. They just say they they say the things they've heard and they feel good about it, you know? And <laughs> I'm not gonna say they bad people, bro. It's just it's nah, not, not like they people. But at the end of the day, that shit, you know. It's going to forever go on. So it's like, fuck it. That's why I'm getting involved with yeah. this shit. But pushing the conversation forward is something that is a fucking must out here. But at the same time, niggas that are really doing this shit are pushing the conversation forward naturally any fucking way. And there was a question I wanted to ask you. So being yeah. the video game character and then there's the player that's playing that. Is there a motherfucker just sitting back watching the player play the player in the Matrix type shit? And then, like, there's a nigga That's behind the him watching that That's shit. Like, it's just nothing. That's the I. Cause look, once you get to the once you get to the eye, you're gonna hit an infinite regress because it's the eye. That's the nature of oneness. Mm. Um, but it's that's the eye. That's the eye part. It's the motherfucker watching the motherfucker who's playing the game. And see, look, cause mm. there's no special move you gotta do to tap into that. You can tap into that right now. Like, look, there's something on your table, right? Mm. Uh, look, well, well, you're drinking out of a bottle. Mm. The bottle in your physical world, in, in your physical body, that's the physical world, right? Mm-hmm. Now imagine a, a bottle. You're in a non-physical. That's non-physical right there. Mm-hmm. Now you haven't even examined what you is at the moment. But anyways, even pull it back further. What's the motherfucker looking at that bottle you just imagined? That's the eye. Mm-hmm. That's soul level. So you got soul, spirit, and body level right there. It's not somewhere you gotta go. That's it's not something you have to do to unlock it. It's right there. there. You never left Kansas, Dorothy, but it's about how you're framing reality. And because nobody is drawing lines, they can't figure it out. They're just trying to make everything one. And it's like, everything's already one. Like, mm. you're not doing anything. And you just, you, like, you didn't complete the work. You're just like, no, I'm going to pick the pieces off the board and we're going to put the game away. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, chill out. Wait, You've you already rolled the dice. The you have to one. play. Wait, how you feel like after you start this shit, like and niggas being mm-hmm. like, oh, once you start the path, you can't end the path. And I'm one of them niggas. So how you feel about that? Yeah, no, you can't. You can't end. You okay. can't. You can't undo it. Yeah, this is it's because the the thing about this place is choice. The thing about Earth, the thing about the lowest place is choice. You don't get choice anywhere else. That's why, it, like, you have to. That, that's why it, it, it creates. It, it's 
it's what defines moments, bro. It defines your experiences, the choices you make. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's, it's what it's what, what what's the word I want to use? It's what, it's what manifests potential. Because zero is infinite potential, unexpressed. But you you expressing choices, all the choices. It, it, it it's what gives manifestation to that potential, bro. Like I cannot, I cannot, I cannot stress that enough. It's choice. Choice is the thing down here. That's why there's no path. There's no essential path because you can make any path. Right. It's, it's not about finding the right path out there. It's looking at the path you're already treading. Be re-examining yourself. Because if you get to this place where you're now realizing, hey, what I am is essentially the whole thing. Well, what you have to do is re-examine what you've always thought you are and how you came to that, what framework you were using. Because when you leave cultures and religions, you don't have any metaphysical presuppositions to to anchor you into all of reality. Because this is what this is what religion gave you. Religion told you what reality at large is. It told you what yourself is, and it told you what the continuity between the two is. Okay, mm-hmm. that's what niggas are looking for. They're looking for the answer to what is reality at large, what is the self, and what is the continuity between the two. And it can't just be everyone is right. Otherwise, the answers don't mean anything. Because those the answers to those questions are what anchor you into reality. They give you a they give you a reason to live. They give you a reason to move forward. As opposed to just, well, I'm not gonna kill myself. You know, I don't wanna yeah, die. But you don't even know why you don't want to die. fucking psychic abilities kicked in right then. Cause in my head, I was like, my next question, I'm gonna ask this nigga how you feel about suicide. Cause there be times where I tell niggas like, hey bro, just kill yourself. Like, let make it way more easier. Like if you don't wanna be alive that bad, nigga, just, hey, mm-hmm. you get that reset but This is what I say about suicide is that suicide isn't a, isn't a desire for death. It's, it's a type of desire for life that a person feels is 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 wholly unattainable, and not just that it's wholly unattainable, mm. but that they couldn't live without it. So it's not even a yearning for death. Like nothing that lives wants to die. Like that's why I would tell a motherfucker, like, look, if you really think that's what you want to do, go ahead. Because you because it, it, either you're gonna do it or you're gonna figure out what the fuck really matters. And that's <laughs> that's why I hate motherfuckers who in this nihilism shit, bro. Like real shit, motherfuckers will be like. There's no meaning to anything. And I'm like, no, that's a lie. You're lying. That's nihilism. You're saying you you stripped the meaning out of everything and then said, ha ha, there's no meaning. Like, no, bro, you took the meaning out. Cause look, think about the shit you give a fuck about in life. Walk out walk outside naked. Shit in the shit in the kitchen. No, I'm not gonna do that. Why? Cause something matters, right? Right? Even, even on that simple Love level, it. you know things matter. So you can't sit here and say nothing matters. Like ultimately, okay, nothing. Maybe nothing matters ultimately, but because of that, anything can matter. So it's not that nothing matters; is that you don't you you can't find anything that matters enough to drive you. Fuck out of here, man. Niggas, they don't. This is the thing. It's not what you think, bro. It's how you think. Thanks. Motherfuckers are out here trying to find a new what to think. That you know, I don't like Jesus, so I'm gonna have chocolate Jesus, or I'm gonna have chocolate deities, or no, I'm not gonna do angels. I'm gonna do demons. And it's, they're all trying to find a new what to think, and no one's changing how they think because that's the issue. Mm. See, religion, religion was for people who didn't know how to think. And motherfuckers are mad because they don't know how to think, and and they find out that, that that Christianity wasn't literal truth, and so they never they still never figure out how to think. They just change what they think, mm. like the like the stupid higher and lower self shit. I hate that shit so much. It's it's, it's God and the devil again. It's God and the devil because check this out. Mm. If you got a higher and lower self, what is yourself? The same fucking thing it always was. You didn't change like that at all. Point. Yeah. Like, what is the self? What is yourself? If you got a higher and a lower self, what is yourself? The middle point. Yes, it's, it's the same thing as always was. It was yeah. When you was in Christian, you just changed the name from God to higher right. self. You, you, you nah, didn't change the how they think. They just changed what they think. Nah, that's like, the it, it, because it. Like, yeah, because it kept around with what the their self is the same. Yourself. How you feel about that? Do you pray to Look yourself? At me. No, because, <laughs> <laughs> because like it's, it's like like what are you even saying when you say that? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like okay, oh, and, and it's not it's not to say 
it's not to say it can't be right because look maybe if you put some detail to it but because nobody draws any lines right that the, it, it doesn't mean anything and that's the issue it could mean something because I, I won't deny that, like I can I can translate that into a way with my own work but it doesn't mean it's gonna mean anything because there's no lines drawn there's no this is what this means and this is what this means we can you, all we can do is just agree and say everybody's right like that doesn't we, we can't really say anything definitively and that's the issue mm. but I mean because you praying to yourself bro like this it's narcissism it's narcissism and nihilism bro you strip the meaning out of all the reality so the only thing that's left to have any meaning is yourself and then now now the question is which i want to ask the question what is yourself well i'm gonna just pray to my, myself but you don't even ask what yourself is like how is that gonna work like you see what i'm saying like what, it could mean something. pattern and shit it's like if you pray to yourself and you ain't put in no work to change they're gonna get results from what you already are type shit so you nah, just bro, more not, of the pain that you've been getting different. It's deeper than that, bro. It's deeper than that. It's the fundamentals of the, of, the, of the, the claim itself. Praying to myself, like, well, what the fuck is yourself if that's how that works? Like, because look, you, you're not gonna pray. You can't pray to the one thing that's all things because it's only one thing. Receiving a prayer would be something other than oneness. All it is is oneness. There's no, there's no. All it does is be. Like that's mm -hmm. part of the reason and all this shit can be is because that all it does is be like to go from nothingness to being is a huge step so you gotta give the nigga credit for that okay the nigga don't do shit else but be okay i get it but so this idea of praying to yourself it, it begs the question what is the self but but people aren't asking that question and that's the issue what is yourself and they, or, or they'll just start throwing out spirit sounding words it's the, it's 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 your kundalini spirit soul mm -hmm. like like who knows what that means because nobody says anything is wrong like this like for me because i i say niggas are wrong mm -hmm. it's it's body soul and spirit okay body soul and spirit this is the 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 the, the this is the self in context okay the self at large you have primordial non-physical and physical non-physical being spiritual okay uh <clears throat> like um so the self at large because this is once again this is what religion gave you it gave you what the self at large is what is reality at large what is the self in the context of that what am i mm. and what is the continuity between the two okay so the self at large you have the primordial realm all right then you have the non-physical realm and then you have this the, the physical realm okay um Physical realm is space time. Non physical realm is time space. It's the inversion of it. Uh, but, anyways, <clears throat> that's at large. In context, you have the soul. The soul is the vessel for the primordial. The spirit is the vessel for the non physical. And the body is the vessel for the physical. Okay? It, it's very simple. It's very simple. It don't even have to be complicated. Just try, just gotta draw a few lines. But, anyways, so that's the self at large, the self in context. But the continuity between the two, that's the, that's the work. That's the that's that's getting back to figuring out the narrative of the motherfucker that's playing the game. Right. Because that's what you mean when you say I went astral traveling. I talked to Oshun. That's the motherfucker you mean. But until you can learn to identify yourself as that, you're in the world and of it. Right. That's the that's the game. See, that's the go within. That's the know thyself. It's not knowing some other physical world narrative. It's not knowing Anunnaki self. Like, oh my God. Like, the word Anu, the word Anu is the most high. Naki, Anu Naki. Nigga, that's Jesus. The son of the, the child of the most high. That's G Anunnaki, bro. Like, niggas are, niggas are literally redoing the rapture and trying to say, like, that's spiritual. Like, this shit is, I apologize. I get really triggered just even thinking about their existence because I used to be them. Nah, I feel it. You do your yeah. thing, my boy. Plus, I'm just appreciating the game that I fucking need to move forward on my path and shit. So, nigga, you go on your ranks. I will be like a complete student in moment and shit. I don't really mind that. Like, mm. bro, I'm real live stitching my shit together. Like, question. Well, yeah. that, well, that leads into my question then for you. Um, have you worked with creating any deities? Uh, yeah. How'd that go for you? Uh, it created a personality set and variants of it. What do you mean? Like, they became 
ideas or ideologies for me to tap into to become the person that mm. I wanted to be with this mm. certain, well, certain social situations and shit. Like having anxiety, <laughs> this motherfucker ain't got no anxiety. This nigga know how to talk, know how to dance. No, I ain't practicing none of this shit. I'm just telling myself that this energy I'm about mm -hmm. to jump into knows all this shit that I want to do. And started jumping into that shit, becoming the character people outside of me started to notice the shit and i was like i bet that shit's alive so it's something in the subconscious that runs on autopilot for me. and then just moved on to the next type shit but making mm. deities i don't really do no more because i've made my own pantheon so like i understand the nappies and how they work in my hierarchy type shit but yeah would you mind talking to me about it or telling me about it because this is right up my alley this is what the fuck i fuck with when you say I made my own pantheon, I'm that's now I'm curious about that. I feel, feel it. Well, yeah, nigga. So Nappy No Name is kind of like the fucking the I knew of the group or the Zeus of the group. Well, not even Zeus. You got to go back further than that. Like that primordial mm -hmm. masculine source. Mm -hmm. Like that. Would there we be, go. Yeah, that type shit. So that would be what Nappy No Name is, and then Nappy No Name has all these different variants, like Nappy Greens and Nappy Miyagi and Nappy Hendrix and they all represent like these different steps to the rebuild self like Hendrix is more within the root chakra or more within this plane that's his specialty type shit and Greens is the mm -hmm. step up above that like going to the imagination realm or the astros or whatever the fuck niggas want to call them and then oh no there's another Another one, an in-between point. When I started to work with Baron a lot, I got heavy in the graveyard work, spirit, shit like that. So I do have one mm -hmm. that's Big Chief Natty Crown, and that's kind of like the ancestral line. That's not my middle point, but it's almost like a resting mode within my mind. It allows me to like quick save whatever the fuck I'm up here doing type shit. Mm -hmm. So Big Chief Natty, mm -hmm. I guess that's also some physical shit being attached to the ancestors or whatever. But up above that is when you start getting into like just more concepts than anything or where um, niggas will get the fucking, what's that nigga, Lovecraft, his monsters. Like mm -hmm. you can't perceive what this is, but it's a perception, that type shit. That's mm -hmm. like Nappy Miyagi. Nappy Miyagi allows me to navigate my mind and remove certain things and place myself higher than certain thoughts to perceive go. different angles and shit. There we that go. Type of thing. And then like, uh, what's the other nigga? The other, oh, and then it's Nappy No Name, like the head nigga, the pure energy, the all, the whatever you want to call it, that type of thing. So after I got to the point and understood where each piece needed to be, that's when I started creating my own like deities or whatever. Now I just create deities to like kind of like go oh, fuck niggas up and shit. Like, you know, just when I'm a dark time <laughs> magic type shit, like that's a nice little tool to have because it's not an attachment to me. I just molded an energy that was already here and sent that shit out like Mario Kart. Now it's a bomb on the track type shit. Ain't got right. Shit <laughs> <laughs> it's gone now, bro. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. What's it? Nah, what fuck with your pantheon. Uh, like, is that shit? What's yours like? Oh, oh, bro, it's it's. It's it's very I similar. Get the vibe I, I, that I, it's vast as fuck. Like it's not <laughs> just not like seven <laughs> like mine or some shit. You always got a lot out of it. Yeah, it, it kind of gotta be like like like, like if you look at the, the the Hindu pantheon, like you, you start to. See See how different deities or how many different ones they have how different ones are, are mixed together because because it, it's symbolism you're weaving symbolism so it, like, just listening to yours and how you have how you have the different you could you could recognize when certain deities were 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 clothed in in physicalness and you could tell me when they were when you moved up to the next level which i which i can appreciate because most people ain't fucking with that um but yeah uh well, my pantheon, it's it's the big thing is is the continuity of the narrative because that that would be the next place I would point you in in the direction on what you're working with because uh, you're much further than most people would be with it, I, and I can appreciate that. Uh, but this is the here it is. This is the narrative. I'll talk to you about it. Um, uh, the central the central hero of the narrative in my pantheon is um is Hanogun. 
he's a mixture of Hanuman and Ogun, right? Um, um, he's basically the deity that represents, uh, I guess you could say, my my, uh, my idea of myself as human. Okay. Um, and say it again. I said that one would be Nappy Hendrix for me. Okay. Okay. Smooth. Smooth. And and basically what it is 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 him as Hanogun is a fallen state. He's 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 in a deep sleep, imprisoned in in, in a game. Um, and the pantheon. Um, it, it it goes all the way back to all the way back to the primordial stuff where you have the great mother, um, and like at first it was just the great mother and and and, and, and you know the great father you know they dancing fucking you know having kids eating them killing them stepping on these motherfuckers like fuck this shit, <laughs> um, and great mother she's like you know maybe maybe there's something else huh? Nah, I was like they just chilling you know nigga we'll make more right type shit. Regular Saturday, you know, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> and the great mother's like, well, okay, well, maybe we can do something else. <clears throat> as soon as she suggests it, um, the great father turns into stone, crumbles, you know, disappears, and she's like, fuck, you know, now he's gone. And she goes through a whole, so epi- whole episode, a whole story arc of trying to recreate him, you know, with with two sons where it fucked up, and the third son's where she gets it right. Um, you know, there's a there's a there's a drama where the one of the sons tries to take the third son away and he, she hides him. He hides him in the physical world and he has to not only get himself out of the physical world, but he, he has to finish the work of what his father was doing because his father, he doesn't just disappear. His father, you know, he, he has to become his father. Basically, he has to rise and, and get back to doing what he was doing before he fell into being Hanogun. And so Hanogun had their different stages of Hanogun. Um, they're different. Like there's the there's the future version. You know, there's plenty of past versions. Like each of them, like because he's a monkey, he lives in the um, the Jade Palace. The Jade Palace is actually this forest. It's like a it's like a jungle forest. It's like it's got every single kind of jungle or forest in it. Uh, he lives there with all the monkeys, all the different monkeys. Um, Bro, it's wonderful shit. <laughs> all the different monkeys are different, um, different aspects of my personality, um, and uh, like, like a, with a lot of my pantheon, um, because part of part of my uh, my mo is I usually assimilate things, um, and so, so I, I I've assimilated a lot of the uh, the the symbolism from Naruto, mm. like for instance. Um, when I'm dealing with uh, a particular emotion, I'll use um, white Zetsu. And not only just have him white, but he can be a different particular color. And so like, let's say if I'm looking to see why I'm feeling a particular way, and I go in there and I see a blue Zetsu. Okay, it's some, it's some sadness. Mm-hmm. I'm dealing with a particular sadness. Like I it don't have to say, hey, I'm sadness. The symbolism speaks for itself. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And, and so all the different deities are intertwined in this narrative okay like um like i was telling you about the two brothers um the 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 one genegba you know he was the first son you know the the mother was trying to make she was like okay well i can remake the father right i'm gonna make him i'll make him everything i ever wanted he's gonna do everything i want he's gonna be perfect and she makes him and she's sick of him because he, he, he gets everything she wants and she hates him he's basically a man child mm-hmm. Um, and the second brother's like, well, nigga, like before he's even born, he's like, well, nigga, that's what you gonna do. Fuck you, bitch. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut myself out your side. I'm gonna do what I want to mm-hmm. do. Like I'm not even gonna be born the way you want me to. And so you have that, ad- you have that adversarial part of the narrative in the primordial, the primordial part. So the narrative, it has a, like, so basically you know, the human experience is the middle point of a longer narrative. Ooh. And once you can uncover the, the the narrative that's already going on, you can stop playing human and get back to what you were doing. Big ass fucks. But explain that shit a little more. So human being the bigger, well, the middle point of a bigger narrative. What you mean? Like, okay, uh, the 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 soul falling from the highest point coming down to the lowest. Um, like a tree, fruit falling from the high, from falling from the canopy, hitting the earth. In the 
process of it becoming a tree, the fact that its flesh of that fruit is dying and the seed is coming out, that's the middle point of a longer narrative. The narrative of the forest at large and the narrative that it's going to continue in becoming a tree. What we're, what we're experiencing in physical life is the middle point of a longer narrative. Well, like uh, the tree, let's say, for instance, if you think of the soul as a seed, the, the tree it fell from, okay, what was already going on? There's some people who will, um, who will postulate the idea of souls reincarnating. I can do that one as well. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's what, what, whatever right. the fuck you That's were doing it. before this one. So, so the experience of physical life is the middle point of a longer narrative. And tapping back into that narrative is part of the going within. But, but you can only really embrace that narrative so much as you can allow yourself to let go of this one. Right. Like, 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 for instance, um, your mama and daddy. Are those your mom and dad or that's your body's mommy and dad? Your body. Them, them, those, those, that's, mom, that's Sora's mom and dad in the video game. Right. You know? Like, like, how, like, what is you? And how much, how, how, how much do you really agree to that? Because for the most part, what we agree to is our that human narrative. Right. And it's not to say I'm not saying get rid of it. I'm not saying throw the baby out with the bathwater. I, mean, I don't want to. I don't want to imply you that at can't all. Can't get rid of it, so you know. Yeah, you can't. That's the, that's the whole thing. You can't. Like you're going to suffer. The physical world, you're going to suffer. Right. Like there's no way to get around it. Right. Like the, like I, like the example I always give. Right. The nigga Edgar Allan Poe, like his his literature's in everybody's class, but the nigga died drunk in a gutter alone. Like, <laughs> stop, stop trying to have, bro, stop trying to have this this perfect human life. Like, stop trying to win at human. Nobody wins at human. <laughs> right. Mm -mm. Human is, is a lie. Niggas trying to decode movies and, and TV shows, but the premises of every one of the movies and TV shows is human. Human is some new shit, bruh. And you sit there and take in the whole human, like Hancock. This nigga Hancock flying through the air, superhuman shit gonna work with the police, get a white girl, bruh, chill out. Are you serious? All that shit was human. It don't matter if this nigga is superhuman, he's still gonna conform to the narrative of humanity. Right. So, how do you feel about the, uh, um, I guess concept, ideology, I don't know what the fuck you would call the shit. But I'm one of them people where I'm like an AZ type of nigga and motherfuckers be stuck in the B through Y. But I'm really just like, <laughs> what is my goal? And I start back paying attention after I'm at my goal. Like, <laughs> uh. nigga, that middle point shit, I'm kind of like Magic Man. Like, nigga, I'll use that character for example. I just float through the in between space. Like, this mm -hmm. shit. <laughs> I mean, it's part. It's, it's kind of the process, bro. I'm like, cause look, cause for me, the devil's in the details. Like that's that's the B through Y is where I'm usually talking shit at. Cause it's like, cause it's like a, like the like 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 a a, a, a track, like a race track. We're starting to finish at the same place, and so it's like, like that's the easy part. Like I get it. It's the easy part though. Like the devil's right. in the details. It's the shit in between that, that that makes the difference. Like it's one thing to say, okay, such and such, ultimately such and such at the end of the day. But we not at the end of the day, bro. We at high noon, you know. And what you do at high noon is gonna affect the end of the day a lot more than saying, you know, predicting what's gonna happen at the end of the day. Like what you get up and do at high noon is gonna make a difference by what happens at the end of the day. You know, them details, right. the details of all this shit is what makes the difference. Like that's that's what that's what get you so deeply entrenched in the illusion like shit you don't even realize you agreeing to like for instance like motherfuckers will talk shadow work right like yeah, like here I, I i can give you some because you're already kind of doing you already got the the appropriate tools to do what i would what i would suggest you do with shadow work but like like oh, yeah, like we were talking some, about with looking give me some game looking at particular thoughts from a, like a different point of view from 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 above rather right yeah. you mentioned that um <clears throat> that that's that's the kind of eye view people need to take on their personality all right that's what shadow work is shadow work isn't just saying okay i accept the fact that i have bad human characteristics like that's 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 basic and dumb like you gotta you gotta think about what a shadow is like like okay 
first of all, the thing that you think you are that you're doing shadow work on isn't you to begin with, right? It's it's Sora in the game. It ain't even you, like niggas. So, so what you when we're talking shadow work, okay? The light of your awareness is what you what you got. It's, it's what's shining on this idea of what you think you are, okay? It's the light of the awareness. What's in the light of your awareness is what you identify with. What you say, hey, this is me. This is this, this is me. These are the things I am. These are the things I do. That's what's in the light of your awareness. Mm-hmm. What's equally that thing, but not in the light, that's the shadow. So if you have a, like a sphere and you got a light shining on it, that light of the awareness, that light is the I. Mm-hmm. That's I. That's the, that's what you are essentially. The, the sphere itself, you have the part that's in the light. That's your personality. That's what you identify with. That's what you'll say, hey, this is me. This is how I am. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a good looking person. I'm not a liar. Um, you know, uh, I get money. You know, these are the things, you know, hey, this is what's in the light. The thing, the sphere, the part of the sphere that's not in the light is the shadow. Mm-hmm. It's the part that's equally the sphere, but doesn't get the recognition of the light of the awareness. So. The, the whole goal is to make the shadow smaller. You don't get rid of it. You right. make the shadow smaller. You you have to you have to change your view of this idea of yourself. It's not getting rid of it. It's like um, if you shine the light on something from the side, the shadow is really long. If you shine it from the top, the shadow is really small at the bottom. You're supposed to change your perspective on what it is you've been the, the game character you, you've been using, mm-hmm. how you fi- how you really feel about yourself, what you really think, and it's easier to do that when you know that you're not that thing that you're scrutinizing. Right. And so when you can take that step and look at it from outside, that's what's going to help because most people are trying to do shadow work while they're thinking they're the thing they're scrutinizing. And so they're dishonest with themselves or they go halfway through. They don't really go all the way and do everything they could. They don't really slay themselves because mm-hmm. that's what you really got to do. You have to slay yourself because the idea of yourself is what you think you are is a fucking joke. You're a joke. You have to you have to get the joke. Mm-hmm. Most niggas don't get the joke. They're impressed with their human personality. Why so serious. Right. Right. <laughs> hey, man, have you ever done a. Uh, you ever done a going on? I remember, I remember because I was listening to the, the interview you did before. Um, you 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 were saying you haven't done ayahuasca yet. You wanted to do ayahuasca, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a place in Florida where I went and did it. Um, it's called um, Soul Quest. Yeah, me and me, me and my me and my wife did ayahuasca. That shit was banging. We usually, we, well, I haven't, I haven't done it in a while. I'm gonna mm-hmm. get back to that shit. But we, we usually do like shrooms and shit. Acids off the chain, bro. Y'all niggas was talking about didn't like acid, bro. I love acid. Acid be hitting. Hey, oh my nigga, god. Do your thing. I ain't god, never I'm had no good shit happen off acid. Granted, I don't think I took enough to have a trip, so I was just like, fuck it, moved on type shit. Plus, that was two tabs I little shit. My hands on. I got easier access to shrooms. Mm-hmm. And shrooms, shrooms be hitting too. You gotta, but see, motherfuckers will just do shrooms to laugh and 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 lay around like they don't lean into this shit. That, that's bro, what the fuck you gotta do, bro. bro you gotta let okay. go. There's a shroom trip that you might have like a deeper perspective on it. That'll be good for me. I ate like over seven grams, and I wanted to have a bad trip doing everything in my power to have a bad trip, like watching scary shit. Thinking horrible shit. Oh my god, mm-hmm. I'm gonna get hit by a car tomorrow. Like, nigga, I'm gonna get my house wild and trying to bring on a bad trip. <laughs> and I went on my porch and I sat down and I was like, nigga, I wasted these shrooms. Like, I felt the intensity <laughs> from the shrooms and got nothing from it. The only thing I got was like a new perspective that destroyed anticipation. Like putting so much energy into like this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen, this mm-hmm. is gonna happen, yo. Mm-hmm. That was my bad shroom trip. I was like, bro, I was wasting seven grand. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> yes, bro, you you got it right there. You hit that shit on the head, bro. Look, sometimes sometimes hunger is better than eating. It's that anticipation. It's that potential. That's what draw. That's motherfuckers who who go crazy from this dark shit. It's from fear. It's from the anticipation of something gonna happen. Nice. That's what'll fuck you up. <laughs> nice. 
Hell yeah. That shit will fuck you up heavy, my nigga. But yeah, I fucking, I was hating, like, <laughs> nigga, I was straight hating myself after that. Like, damn, them seven. But look, look real going. shit. But something I else. Wouldn't, I, the, only, the only reason I wouldn't say you wasted it is because I don't think you would have took that lesson any other way. That's the only reason I wouldn't tell you that. That was something that was kind of already open. So it's like, it's not like I didn't know that lesson already. I think it was like that repeating pattern shit. Like niggas get used to being in patterns. So even when you Mm -hmm. see the pattern in every way, shape, form, fashion, for what it is, you like, fuck it. Like, fuck it. This is a familiar path. It'll get me through until I get back to playing the character. Mm -hmm. (laughs) <laughs> so do you believe in like just putting the game on pause even though you can't pause it and you just let your fucking body free roll type shit even if it's doing fucked up shit and you falling back into old habits and shit do you do that or how do how would you use that that's a better way to put that um how we use it is uh, I, I appreciate that one um every now and then i use it to to allow myself to really feel some shit like like for instance um you know, motherfuckers don't like to feel sad. You know, you don't want to feel sad. You don't want to feel like you're a piece of shit. Like, bro, like if I'm if I have some sadness in me that I can't quite put my finger on, mm-hmm. I'll throw a pity party. I'll throw a pity party for all the sadness I can muster because that shit gonna show up and I'm gonna be able to see it better than where I am otherwise. You know, like sometimes I'll be as sad as I can. You know, if 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 I'm in a rut. I'm going to be in a rut. Like, I'm, I'm not going to be like, damn, I need to be out of this rut. Man, it's crazy. Like, even even me being in the rut, sometimes I allow myself to go to the full extent of, man, this shit is crazy. What the fuck is going on, man? I'm like, just so I can, I'm not, I'm not holding it in. I'm not hiding it. So I can see it. You know, I want to see it. Like, like, when I'm being a bitch nigga, I want to see it. <laughs> I want to see it. I feel like, that. Nigga, like, like even if like, I, I get how I get how terrible it is, you know, you know, motherfuckers will know you's a bitch, nigga. The bitches might see, but damn it, I have to know. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm I'm gonna do that forever. So, I mean, I, I'll let my shit just go sometimes, just so I can get I can dig into something, you know. But, but I mean, otherwise, bro, like, like I I. I don't try and change the physical world that much. Like this shit is so perfect. It it like it do, it this doesn't tickle all the time. Okay, I get it. You know this is this shit. Oh my god, why should this be happening? Like, why the fuck wouldn't it? Like this is the place where anything can happen, bro. If anything can happen, and out of everything that could have happened, that happened. You can't tell me it shouldn't have happened, bro. Anything could have happened, and this is what happened. It's supposed to. Like there's like motherfuckers like. One thing I like to say to my clients is a man usually meets his destiny on the road he takes to avoid it. And so I don't right. try and avoid L's. Like, bro, niggas is out here playing not to lose. And I tell my clients, I'm like, no, bro, play to win. Catch these L's. Get shit wrong. Like, be wrong in front of the bitches once or twice, bro. It, <laughs> it hurts. It hurts, but I bet you won't forget. <laughs> Fuck you mean? Right. Like that, like, People treat trauma like it's some shit you ain't supposed to have. That's ridiculous. Like trauma is essential. It's formative. Well, motherfuckers is trying to be some kind of victim of some shit because you don't blame the victim. Nah, nigga, I'm blaming victims. Get your victim ass up, nigga. Hell nah. So how much is this darkness, bro? This darkness, bro, changing. Say it again. How much energy? do you think you should give motherfuckers like that like after you understand uh motherfucking not doing shit as a motherfucker not doing shit when do you then remove yourself like i right, i'm focusing this type shit or focusing this way on my own shit like nigga you on bullshit because something else that i don't be doing like i be trying to remove myself from niggas mm-hmm. that's not really- doing shit like and stop paying attention to motherfuckers that's not really doing shit but ironically when you stop paying attention to motherfuckers that dark shit kick in because they start paying attention to you man why the fuck you ain't paying attention to me no more because like fuck you so you're my follower now rose and flip you gotta play that new album type shit go ahead you, you gotta realize not everything deserves a response mm-hmm. right. hell yeah <laughs> you don't pay attention when you stop responding to them. But me personally, bro, I would, 
I don't I don't try and get I don't try and remove myself from it. Um, I mean, it, it, insofar as I'm an introvert and I like my own alone time, I'll do that. But I don't make an effort to remove myself from the dead niggas. Mm. Um, <laughs> Because mm. it's like it's like a, if I'm a nigga who's playing on the field, I'm not gonna remove story. myself from the audience. I'm gonna let these niggas see me do it. Mm. They don't need to know the intricacies of how I did what I did. They don't even have to understand. They they're in the audience, bro. They didn't come to play. So I I don't I don't treat them like they're somebody who came to play. Ooh, you know I let them be what they story. are. You know. Because look, a lot of the, this is what I find, dude. A lot of the people who are trying to wake the dead. Who are trying to wake the masses or trying to inform people and wake everybody up those motherfuckers don't realize they're not in the audience no more they're trying to encourage the audience to come down on the field and play and it's like that's not their that's not their role bro right. like the only reason you're still doing this because you still identify with the people in the audience right. and you don't realize you're something different right, right. <laughs> casualty bro <laughs> 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 It'd be like that, yo. How do you feel about the moments if you've experienced moments like this, where somebody close to you got hit with some shit because you in the lab and you just like, well, casualty. Hell yeah, bro. Look, I let that shit happen, bro. Like, look, I'm not here to do that. For real though, for real shit, bro. Look, I have, I have this, um, uh, I have this one deity. Um, his name is Awa. He has a shield, right? I call it the shield of AWAS. Um, whenever I see other niggas getting pulled over, getting arrested, going, getting shit fucked up, I say thank you. You take care of that, bro. I'm gonna go. Do, I'm gonna do the work, work, bro. Right. You do that part of it. I'm gonna do the work, work. I, I give thanks to these dead niggas because I'm not trying to be them. I'm not trying to play that role. Right. Fuck that. I got. I got my own shit to do, and I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna do it good without needing you to come down here and do what I'm doing. I'm gonna tell you what, boy. Right, I feel like that's why I say these niggas are weak, bro. Everybody talking about I'm strong. Don't nobody want to fight, and that's why niggas are weak. <laughs> they don't realize they're weak. <laughs> big, big ass facts. I swear bro, to God, on my story one time, I was like, I want to host a goddamn spiritual fight club. Like, I just want a bunch of niggas <laughs> come to my spot. Like, yo, you about to have some shit going on. Pay attention to what's going on in their life and shit. Like, see if you really about this action, but you know. That was just the idea yeah. of my story. Niggas ain't really on that song. I would feel oh, man. There is <laughs> one other nigga. There's a nigga named the Destructive Shaman. Like, I want to get your opinion on him. But I'm, he is one never of the people tapping into, like, the darker shit and more destructive shit. So, like, I fuck with, bro, well, I fuck with bro's vibe, but I want to get your opinion on that nigga. No, I have to, I have to find out about him. I don't even know. I ain't never heard of him. I is he on Instagram or YouTube? Nah, he on Mm. Yeah. Mm. No, I had to. I, I had to find out what, what what kind of stuff he be saying. What kind of what kind of stuff he fuck with? Um, um, Necronomicon shit. Um, heavy dark mother shit. I think he got his own balance though. He's just like venerating the shit basically. Um, <laughs> he be diving into deeper perspectives and shit. But bro is also one of the niggas that was like in the street life shit. So. He's like stepping from that. That's I think that's another reason he got his destruction. Now that I'm thinking this shit about it. Well, mm -hmm. thinking about it. But yeah. You would just have to look at his fucking IG and shit, bro. Like to actually get a vibe from niggas. Cause I don't just be trying to read niggas' energy. It's like I already brought bro up. So like that's all the role yeah. I wanna play with the Zora. <laughs> if you wanna put it that way. Like, no, I'm <laughs> I feel you know that makes sense. No, yeah, you know, I, I, I'd actually be interested because I, I, I stay listening to what people are listening, what people are saying, because it's like it interests me. Like it, it, the, the conversation, the argument interests me, and the idea that people don't debate just is so disappointing. It's so disappointing, and people don't. Uh, like there's no science where anyone does that, and it just. Mm. But I, I listen to what other people say because I, I like I say, bro. I'm 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 out here to be defeated. Like somebody come and slay me. Somebody come and show me where what I'm saying is incorrect. And it's, I, I want I want it because I want to see I want to see where the holes in my idea are that I can't see. I've been slaying my own shit for years now because nobody wants to slay it. But it's like, look, somebody slay this. Otherwise, I'm the top nigga. 
I'm gonna start taking y'all niggas girl and saying I'm the shit because nobody's gonna be like, how can you not beat me? I'm the god of losing, bruh. I'm the e ego, like beat me. No, everyone's the same. No, we're not. <laughs> what the? F I feel that. I definitely feel that. Nah. I will say there's certain things within your perspective that I may not like 100% agree with, but the core of the fucking message, like, I know how to get to the middle point. I'm like an A and Z, my nigga. Like, I can be in between and I get what I need in between, but I focus on A and Z because that is my, like, starting end. Like, all right, I'm starting something. All right, whatever I've agreed to, I've ended it right here type shit. And but what you what mean, I mean by I? Hmm? What you mean by I? I? By I, I is like what I'm willing to agree to. But what does that constitute? Within this realm, Like, who is that? Who is that when you say I? I is like the personality, basically. It's the one step above. It's what I feel this body with, because the body is just the body. It's just what I'm walking around in. It has its connection to this realm and how I can interact with shit, but it's nothing special in the grand scheme of things. So one level above the mm -hmm. body is what animates, well, what animates the body, like the personality, personality. How, I think, how I'm different from everybody else, shit like that. So that's the eye in that thing. That's not the eye within the totality. That's just the eye yeah. within that one perspective, if that makes sense. But then you're making decisions from a diminished capacity. And that's the issue. Like, it's not that you're wrong. It's that from that particular eye, it's, it's, it, it only has its best interest in, in heart. And, and it, doesn't, it doesn't take into account the nigga that's playing the game. Because the nigga that's playing the game, that's the nigga whose whose interest you have to do. Like, I, cause right. I get why so I get like, why personality level would think that. Because, if I have the controller in my hands, that eye is a hit left on the stick. <laughs> Yo, he gave a button shit. assignment. Yes, button assignments. No, nah, fuck with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm just talking about the 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 level that you make the decision on because because there's plenty of shit that that my person that my person myself as my personality wants to do that i'm not doing that i am not doing even though i, I get why it wants to do that why that makes the most decision that makes the most sense but that's not what we're doing and it's not that it's not that either or wrong it's that that's how it's got to go like because Decisions made on Sora level don't really translate outside of the game, and so if right. if, if you want to live in and not of, you gotta you gotta check the level of decision making. I'm not saying never make a decision on human level because you gotta go to Walmart, you know, you gotta get some bitches or something, you know, you gotta you gotta do regular stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not telling you throw the baby out with the bathwater. I'm just saying when it comes to the spiritual stuff, we we, we always have to like this. Why I always say, what is you? You know, just making sure that that the premises of your thinking is on the right level of analysis. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. Because nah, like that's the nature of that eye. So, it can shift so easily and it's subtle. And sometimes we'll miss when we're doing it. We'll shift that eye into a lower capacity and start saying something that's based in, you know, some type of emotion, maybe even some type of fear and not realize it because, you know, we're in it. But that's the, that's how the eye works. It, it shifts. Nah, I feel that. So, have you ever put yourself through like hella bullshit experiences just because I was stuck in whatever the fuck, or I was a higher perspective and you was like, "Fuck the body. This is just what we doing." Type shit. Yeah. Nigga, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. There was one point when I was just on like some fuck the matrix shit, and I let my electricity and water get like cut off, and I was just like, "I'm gonna teach myself how to be <laughs> self sufficient." And I'm going to force oh. it on you. Like, since you're bullshitting, <laughs> fuck it to everything. Teach yourself how to do something. Like, yeah. so do you ever yeah. be on, like, that kind of shit? Like, fuck yeah. whatever kind yeah. of human understanding. We doing this for this purpose. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Most certainly. And you, you, you got to. You got right. to. And, and, it, and right. it first, first. First, you know, chaos sets in. Shit will be like, you know, it don't want to change. You know, you get tried, you get tested. 
you know but you you got to remember what is what is you because look bro sometimes i'll do that shit and, and you know the physical world come back in the sense that it'll be like you know it'll set me up in a scenario where i got two choices to make. i got two choices to make one choice is is some is some spiritual level shit the other choice is regular human personality shit and there'll be some good shit you know you can get the money you can get some time off you on vacation or something but i gotta say no i got to i got to because i already know what i gotta do and it hurt and it hurt and it's terrible and it but you got to because you got you you because it's it's about what you believe is that it's those are called moments of truth they define you they define what you really believe right. motherfuckers like to, they, they don't like to really put no lines down on what they really believe so they can shift and switch and don't really have to follow no rules right. like nah it's like it's not that there's no rules it's whatever rules you've made are what you're gonna have to enforce you get what you asked for you know so that's why you really have to reflect on the agreements you're making about how you're framing reality what you're saying exists what you're saying things are how like metaphysics is philosophy like i, I, I always suggest philosophy to people philosophy of mind you know philosophy of language those two especially because you know right now we're using words as a medium of communication not just that the english language so there's a there's a um there's there's somewhat of a ceiling on how we can communicate things you know the 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 the, the ontology of the western world like as in what they say exists it's hard to communicate things beyond you know physical world stuff you know but that that's part of what i'm doing is is trying to build a language you know where we can say this is what this means this is what this means you know these are how you know, draw some lines so we can move the conversation forward as opposed to just you know making sure we motivate people to feel good right no nah, i definitely feel that how do you feel about just like the um what is that archetype my favorite archetype the full archetype just moving the oh forward, good question like, good question mm mm because because look a lot of motherfuckers out here will rep the fool bro a lot of niggas will rep the fool um this is what motherfuckers don't get about the fool. The fool is zero, just like I was telling you. Zero is, tri is triune. Mm. There's three levels to the fool: the father, mother, and child. The level of the father is um is uh, necessary ignorance, because zero is ignorance. Okay, the fool is ignorance. Mm. The the first level is necessary ignorance. This is this is all of those who are necessarily ignorant. This is the masses. This is most everything in the physical world falls in that first category of ignorance. The second category of ignorance is um is uh willful ignorance all right this is where you know that you're ignorant of things and you're embracing it mm. okay that's the second level of ignorance the third level of ignorance is 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 where not only have you embraced it but you can now begin to learn things based on your ignorance most people never make it to the third level because they're so impressed with themselves for embracing the idea that they're ignorant <laughs> you know they'll say oh i'm just i'm the fool I'm the fool, but then, I, uh, but then over here, I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna tell you, well, this is really what it is. I'm like, well, bro, I thought you was the fool. I thought you didn't know. But no, I don't know, but I know. Like, no, like, chill out. Like, <laughs> niggas who do that, they didn't, they didn't go all the way yet. Like, bro, it's, 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 this is when, like, when they talk about um, having the heart of a child or having the mind of a child, mm -hmm. this is what they're talking about here. It, it, this is where, this is what gets you out of just being the fool and gets you to begin the magician. It's, it's when you're honest about how you're looking at the world you're honest exactly. about what you don't know you're honest because because a child don't walk into the room with the preconceived notion about how the world already works mm -hmm. if you a nigga who knows how the world already works you're not being part of a child you know you you have to go through there first you have like e ignorance is the precursor to knowledge before you know some shit you gotta not know and so motherfuckers don't take the time to admit to themselves what they don't know they just so everybody's right you know all the things i'm saying are right and so they don't they don't develop the capacity to navigate being wrong because that's what leads you to being right being able to navigate being wrong it's just so disappointing like niggas could be anything in a human niggas could be anything in the human <laughs> superhuman like superhuman is so stupid like how you go superhuman is still human it's still so human like how you in a game <laughs> you're in a game like bruh for real you're in a game that you cannot get out of you're trying to figure out how to get out of the game 
The solution is not make a stronger character in the game. It's right. stop playing the game. Put the game down. Nah, they don't it's not make your character in the game stronger. They don't want to do that. It's just. Um, they, yeah, they don't want to do that. They want to reincarnate and do this shit again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Like, bruh. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, and, 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 and see, this is definitely fire, is like the computer type shit. You is not lying when you say assimilate. Because, like, I kind of sit back and I study people and I've been studying them. You really assimilate shit. And you really, like, it's almost like a, um, a computer code that's now running on autopilot like i have this <laughs> wall here and if whatever the fuck your light is or your perspective is can't penetrate this cold wall nigga, i don't give a fuck what you got going on my nigga. <laughs> like <laughs> that, shit, that shit is definitely fire but, um damn what was my point i'm high too damn yeah, I see you've been smoking it, but I ain't, oh, I ain't mad at you, man. I'm about right. to roll up again. For the <laughs> <laughs> I said, fuck I'm sipping on some homemade wine and shit, my nigga. Oh, snap. Like, you made that, made that? Uh, my dad, but he made this, made this. Oh, shit. Right, basically That's fruit time. So, you know, medicated. Oh. One of my deities right now, fucking... Something that I did notice, um, Baron has like a lot of fucking faces and most people don't really talk about all his faces and shit. And he has one face which is propagating and it's his less focused and driven face and he's just like the stumbling buffoon and shit. But he uses that as a guise to get information. He's like, yeah, nigga, I'm mm -hmm. I ain't nothing, whatever the fuck. And then you're just saying whatever, acting however, whatever the fuck. He's just gathering information. I fucking love that energy. And he be yeah. loving this homemade shit. So, you know, that's also a part of like nappy greens and shit in my mythology. I like to simulate mm -hmm. as well. Like I'll take from all this other shit. Like, oh, okay, you're gonna do this and then add to this and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see, some some people don't, some, something people don't realize is, is uh, the new gods. They don't, motherfuckers don't understand deity. But anyway, uh, think about it like this. Once again, 5,000 years ago, um, somebody thinking about Horus, right? These are the deities. These are the, these are the beings that exist in their psyche, okay? These are the framings of their reality. We have those things now, though. The nigga on the Captain Crunch box is a deity. Uh, Spider-Man is a deity. Like, bro, these are, the, these are the characters that animate our psyche now. Right. These, that frame our psyche now. These are the new gods, right? And see, like, even the old gods get new forms. Even the old gods do new things. Like we used to walk on dirt roads. Now we ride on streets and, and you know, paved roads. We used to have a cart with a horse. Now niggas got a tractor trailer. <laughs> like, bro, shit changes. And niggas, <laughs> and niggas are still doing old shit, bro. Right. Like giving rice to Oshun. Like, what are you doing? Right. Chill out, bro. Like, tap into some new shit. Right. Nah, for real. They ain't got no creativity. Mm -mm. That's why. And see, one bro, of my favorite the, the fucking, One of my I'm, favorite fucking the sayings. The you created, bro, the shit you gotta work with more. Say it again. I said one of my favorite fucking sayings is expression is key. Like, nigga, that will free you from a lot of things. Just do things, my nigga. And like you said, allow yourself to be wrong and learn from what you're doing. But at the end of the day, just do things, my nigga. Like, <laughs> Girl. You only get credit for what you do, not for what you was finna do. Right. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Hey. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I believe that one too, too bro. Look, look. Yeah, the Reaper the Reaper don't come for what you meant to do. He come for what you did. Mm. The Reaper come for what you did, not for what you meant to do. You get you only get credit for what you do and you get what you asked for. Bro, like 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 the shit is real, man. Motherfuckers just be out here talking out the side of their neck. You get what you ask for. That mm -mm. that's you definitely do. You reap the fruits from the seeds that you sow. So you know, mm -hmm. understand your path and walk through your path and shit. That's another reason I be wishing everybody the best, because like I don't really I don't really give a fuck. But at the end of the day, my path is my path and my perspective is my perspective. Going into 
what is next or whatever you perceive to be next. Oh, something else. When I die, something I was thinking about heavy and even like manifesting in ways I wanted to go back to nothing. Like I don't want uh, earth after this. So I don't want to go to heaven. I don't want to go chill with my deities. I don't really care to see anybody. Like I wanted to be this nothing after. Like that's something that I've been sitting in when it comes to the thought of death since we brought that up. How do you feel about that? How do I feel about death or the idea that you want to go to no, nothing? both. Mm. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> both of <are, yeah. laughs> uh, death, death is death is usually just the body's death. Um, and like, like you you go you go you are where you say you are because you are what you say you are. You know, it's how you, like the idea of what is you get serious when you don't have a body shaping your your conception or your perception of reality you know so when your body's gone if your only perception of reality is yourself is the personality you know that's all you got you know look, back in the day they had the ancestor realm so when nigga died you know that's where the motherfucker went you know because that's what they already set up you know the shit you set up before your body dies is what you fuck with um then that's what you get that's where you go you know, most people didn't set anything up because they had an ancestor realm, so they just go to the ancestor realm. Right. Um, but I mean, yeah. if, if, if if you if you really want to 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 just end in nothingness, you you have to address the agreements that you have on 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 what yourself is, and you want to do it before your body dies. Like you can do the shit after your body dies, I guess. But I mean, it it that's the point of the game. That's the point of the thing here mm -hmm. to to figure it out before the body dies. So, I mean, you could do it, like, bro, you could tap into the nothingness now, right. you know? I do be. Plus, you know, it's a part yeah. of, like, the infinite script, nigga. Like, everything's going on at once. Like, no matter how you fragment, like, it's all happening right now. That's another fine thing when you exactly. put up in her. Exactly. Bro, everything is happening right now. There's a place yes. that's cold as fuck, hot as fuck, frozen, in lava, in existence, not not in existence like nigga that shit is very fucking impressive but yeah um yes. dealing with the nothingness is understanding the all like and separating from it. so that's why i kind of letting go how i built that mm -hmm. it, it, it's a serious letting go it's a it's a no thingness because see the thing that the idea of thingness is an interesting thing. That's why, but it's philosophy, bro. Motherfuckers is missing it. Excuse me, I have to go to a different room. Um, it's it's thingness. You have to you have to let go of all thingness. See, uh, hit the, the statement. I am that I am. Right. Mm -hmm. This I am thing. There's two parts to I am. There's the I, which is that singular part, and there's the am, which is ego, which is illusion. It's not that it's bad. It shapes and defines you. Um, but you'll have to get rid of both of those, i.e. let them go. You'll have to let go of the I-ness as well. Mm. So it, 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 you have to... You, it's not a simple matter. It's simply saying I'm nothing <clears throat> because you've already invoked the I and am. Right. You know what I mean? And so you, you're contradicting yourself. It's a it's a serious letting go to get back to that like that. It's not to say you couldn't do it or you know, don't do it, but it just to kind of map out the territory yeah, kind of thing. Feel it. That's why I'm asking you because nigga, you have a map. I don't know if you know. You talk a lot of shit, and I appreciate how much shit you talk, and you're kind of <laughs> like a bear to me, and shit, but you legit have a map. Like in between your shit talking, you have separate categories with how everything interacts and i'm like oh shit. Sure. okay so yeah that's why i wanted you to go deeper in on that because bro i'm serious about that shit. Mm -hmm. but, you know i'm willing to do what i need to do to participate in what i have already agreed to and still a green pawn you know i could change it at any moment because that's the point of the eye like changing your perspective yeah yeah you, you, your your idea has to be fluid enough to where you know you can be wrong about things that's what makes that's what makes your right right you know like that's what makes it right not just saying it but it's been tempered and challenged against wrong mm -hmm. you know you go in there and say man it's what i'm saying bullshit 
you know what how do i know what i'm talking about kind of thing mm. hell yeah bro they, 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 there's a method to the madness but it's not just saying there's no meaning to everything like that right. doesn't even that, that's not a method at all that, that just gives you like you don't you don't explain anything you just leave yourself confused nah <laughs> big ass fact so one system that i have fucked with a lot how do you feel about um cool bonded from um Brazil and shit, that Isu path. Have you dove into that? Explored and broke that Ooh, shit down? I haven't heard of that. Uh uh-uh. uh. My wife usually messes with um Paulo. I mean that that kinda that kinda right. maybe gets close, but no, I haven't heard of, I don't think I've heard of Kumbon, but I've heard of Ishu though. Know? I did a piece on Ishu. Ishu's all over the place, man. Boy, Hell boy. yeah. <laughs> what <the laughs> <fuck? Every laughs> way. So yeah, that was like a system that explored the paths of Isu, like this different chaos that whatever, however you want to describe it. So that shit fine. Like I'll send you some shit for real. But no, yeah, yeah, please do. Because yeah, I want you to break that shit down too. Because that's one system that's close to me and that shit you said about systems is real as fuck too like understanding the system is the fucking point like yeah. seeing how the deities interact with each other you see why they're doing that type shit yes but and it helped you build your own system like you're doing right exactly exactly that's why i emphasize that's why i emphasize the 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 mythology of the deity so much is because just saying like just saying i got a deity for money isn't it like that's just me walking up to you and saying spider-man without telling you nothing about you know his mythology you know what i'm saying like how does he do what he do why does he do what he do you know how does he get it done you know of course you can do anything okay <laughs> but what are you gonna do you know what i'm saying you know that, that's what makes the difference right is having that 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 because that that mythology gives you an idea like like motherfucker will fuck with oshun and give oshun honey and stuff with the yellow and whatnot you know because you know about her mythology you know her tale you know that's what you got to do with the deities that's how you that's how you relate to them that's how you relate to yourself mm-hmm. it's through the tale that theology that mythology of yourself the narrative right nah for real has there been like mm. deities in your life that have kind of just been created on some random shit and after going through like multiple experiences by the end of it you like oh shit nigga a deity has been formed from me going through all these experiences each one kind of had like a a ping mm-hmm. in reality that mm-hmm. gives it real fucking mm-hmm. force and power in this reality. <laughs> like, that shit is fire like there's been times even though this is darker and shit where I've been playing around with certain perspectives and then that gave me certain access to reality because that whole matrix shit with mm-hmm. all the kids in the room mm-hmm. they start doing that shit when you just let go and I, mm-hmm. but doing that nigga I just like fuck with certain people like I'll just be in their room looking at shit and I'm just like why are you doing that but one thing that I have kind of attached to myself and it's my own creation chain of like as long as you're not accessing my energy i won't like fuck with your energy like it's the bomb on the track at that point mm-hmm. but if you start accessing my energy in some way shape form fashion i'm coming in at 10 immediately like nigga, there's people i fuck with and i'll express that i fuck with you that way we can have that boundary within this reality but uh, once my energy uh, has been uh-huh. interacted with i'm like i'm 10 i'm here now what's up like <laughs> no bro i know exactly what you're talking about i i'm i'm the same way bro but but like it'll be on 10 and nigga won't know they know it's on 10 and my motherfucker will think they winning bro you will get lost in me i'm telling you oh i love it <laughs> but it's the thing like nah, you got to agree to me like like i said i'm the ego that's how i work you got to agree to me now motherfuckers really don't understand a lot of times when the, once they've agreed to me they've agreed you know that, that, that's what i'm saying bro niggas don't they don't understand the nature of their predicament or how they're continuing to agree to it mm. what is you like that's how you're continuing to agree to the physical world by allowing yourself to to say the how you're deciding what you is like here this is another example uh, from one of my clients right this is a perfect example of of what the ego is and how how you agree to this shit all right check it out um so he was he was in a dream and uh he was flying through space you know flying really fast you know 
going really far and he he got to a place where he met Anubis and Anubis was there you know bunch with a bunch of other guys and they was just dancing chilling having a good time partying and whatnot right mm -hmm. and so the way the way my client described it is he said he said human thought came in and now I would say this is this is what the ego is this is exactly how to do you human thought came in and he said <clears throat> ask them and he was like like ask them what and the human thought said you know and as soon as he heard you boy he diminished his capacity back down to human personality and he fucked up the whole, whole scenario see nobody, nobody forced him to do that but it was what he associated with you mm -hmm. that made him diminish his capacity because as soon as he did that the motherfuckers look at him like what what you asking me is this nigga even supposed to be here <laughs> All right so it's what is you that's that's always going to be the determining factor how are you framing reality to determine what you is because no one can de no one determines that for you so whatever it is that you do says a lot about you and how you are whatever you've decided to frame it that speaks volumes true. about you and yourself that you know it's not, it's not anything outside of you that's doing that right. but yeah my nigga this was a great fucking experience i'm about to jump up out of here like I done sat here and got home. No problem, bro. I'm about to go into some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, bro, you I good, man? I appreciate all the fucking knowledge for real, for real, and I appreciate like the next step of building a map, like a different sense of the map, because it's kind of like already have built like cosmic bodies, chakras within the bodies, vessels mm. within the body, mm. veins, all that shit. Now giving this vessel a map. Like I'm about to yes. jump into that shit. Give it a, 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 a narrative, a story, right. meaning, context. Context is king, sir. Yes. All right, man. You have a wonderful night, bro. We'll do this again. You too, my nigga. Peace. Peace.